Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. I got rid of that real quick. How's everybody doing tonight? Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I got rid of that real quick. How's everybody doing tonight? Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Why am I echoing double? Oh, I know. Never mind. I fixed it. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome in, Jen, Kelly's Crochet Adventures, Miss Vicky, Miss Margie, Regina. Welcome, Maribel, Ronell, Sunita, Donna G, Miss Joyce Campbell, Sissy. I be in bushes tonight, Sissy. Will you be in them bushes all you want to, honey? Angela's Precious World. Welcome in, Pastel Dreams, Biba Designs. Susan Burke, Michael, welcome in. Mary, welcome in. No sound tonight, so I'll be lurking. Oh, I don't have any sound. Y'all can hear me? Let me see what internet I'm connected to, too. Me. Can you see me okay? Hear me? I'm back. <laughs> I am back. I got a PayPal from... Hold on a second. We got a super chat. By PayPal from Ronell. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm, I should be better now. I should be better now. Should be better. And I also have a new member to welcome. Raven with um used to be precious daughter of y'all um she's something else now Di miss diane you're not late welcome in um hosier christina welcome 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 and ronell this is for you and this is for you we gonna start dancing and you went into the bucket Ronell. thank you thank you thank you so this is what we're going to be making right here I've made two, y'all. <laughs> this one is actually purple and turquoise. And this one is blue and gray. This is the one that I posted on my web page. I mean, on my community tab, my web page. Lord have mercy. So, we're going to be making those tonight. Seven and three quarters by five and a half. Okay, that's what you got, Jen. So, yours is pretty much about the same size as mine. If any of y'all went to Dollar Tree and purchased this, that's fine. Um, if you're using a four-weight yarn, you will need a 4.0 millimeter hook if your bag is like this from the Dollar Tree. Um, but I will show you how to determine that, too. This is one from Hobby Lobby. If you have this one, then you will need to do a 5 millimeter hook but we're still going to be chaining the same amount of chains for this bag as you would this bag. We're just doing the hook difference. So. <clears throat> all right. 
Welcome in, Dark Sky. Welcome in, Samantha. Welcome in, Angel. Why I found you on a live while sitting in the car during my son's speech therapy. I am crocheting in a car. Woohoo! We all do that. Oh, Lord. The, the, in the chat, just jump. Lord, have mercy. Welcome in, CJ. Welcome in. And we have a new member to welcome, Miss Margie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is for you. That's your name, and you will go into the uh, members bucket, as well as Raven. Raven is a new member as well. And we will have a members only live on the 28th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ivy says, hey, 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 I'm here. Hello, everyone. Hey, Ivy, welcome in. Thank you, Dark Sky. We're actually going to be making that tonight out hooser okay i keep saying hosey air don't i and we have another new member welcome 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 let me write your name down christina that'll be yours and let's play the music welcome I'm just getting it pulled back up on my phone right quick, y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so very much. Thank you, Christina. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. While we partying, let me, let me put my glasses on. <laughs> I got me some today, too. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is for you. Thank you, Angel. Sissy Liz says, welcome, Margie. Abby says, hello, Jen Jen. Welcome, Crafty. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank y'all so very much. I'm folding this up, and it's going in the bucket. Um, Welcome in, Tiffany. Tiffany says, hello, everyone in the chat. Mama Maria says, hi, Jenny. I'll have to watch the replay or tutorial, tornado warning and sirens going off. Oh, I understand. Your safety is more important than you watching this live, honey. Um, we're supposed to get the same weather y'all getting tomorrow. So um, I pray for any and everybody that is in this path of those storms that are coming through because they say they're going to be very severe. Live Talk with Liz says, thumbs, please. <clears throat> and Jen says, be careful and safe, Elizabeth. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome in, Aisha. Hi, Jeannie and everyone in the chat. And Ms. Glenda says, let's keep on dancing, y'all. <laughs> And this is for you, Miss Glenda. 
And we got Michael who says she wants to dance a little bit too. So let's dance for her. Thank you, thank you. Woo! Thank y'all so very, very much. Y'all gotta take these off. They're messing with my eyes. <laughs> and I have my glasses on underneath them. I have two bags, one by seven and a half by six, and one eight by seven that has a box bottom. Okay, well, box bo both of them have box bottoms. Hey, my sweet sis V, welcome in. She says, hi, my amazing friends. And Tiffany says, hello, dark sky. Just a yarn to crochet. Okay, well, that's fine, too. You can always get a bag and put on put it on later. Welcome in, Ola Joe. She says, hello, sis Jeannie in the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, Kivia. Everybody's speaking to Ola Joe and V. Thank y'all so much. And Kivia, y'all so sweet. Y'all so, so sweet. Beaver says, loving the glasses so festive and making me crack up. Look, if I don't want, how about some, how about some um, donuts to go with our coffee tonight? <laughs> we can have donuts to go with our coffee. Yeah, Tiffany says, stay safe, Elizabeth. We'll be praying for you, your family, and everyone in the area. Welcome in, Gracie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. V says, party time. Party time now. They were messing with my eyes too, LOL. <laughs> Prayers up for all those experiencing the storms. Yes, Kelly, Kelly. Yes, yes, yes. No, just the eight by seven. Okay, well, Ms. Vicky, you might want to use the other one, which is pretty much the same size as the bag that I did those two with. Um... Bill says laughing my off. And says B says donuts and coffee, y'all. That's right. I got my coffee and was rushing, so I didn't even stir it. I had to go run back in there and stir it right quick. So, but yeah, if you have, um, oh, blessings. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OVW. Thank you. Ooh you so welcome and i need you to send me your live schedule so oh michael this was yours i'm sorry darling i ain't even show you so i can put your live schedule down if it's not it might be on that list that all joe is doing and this will be yours ovw and this is for you <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome in, Lisa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kivia says, hi, OVW. Hi, Lisa. And Veronica said, let's keep on dancing. You ain't going in the bucket, though. <laughs> no one. And this is for you, V Llama. <laughs> My V Llama. Going in the bucket. You know, I was just messing with you about not going in the bucket, honey. All right. Jeannie is on the lives list. Okay. Thank you, Ola Joe. Well, I'll, I'll know now, um, OV, when you go live. I'm going to go to the office tomorrow if the weather's not super, super bad, and I'm going to print it off. And I'm going to put it right over there where I can see everybody. Aisha says, OVW, she loves your tatting earrings. Yes, yeah, she does some beautiful tatting. 
something I, I, I don't think I can do because I can't see good enough. Welcome in, Miss Margaret G. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I tried looking for that live schedule today. I couldn't find it. Ola Joe, how long ago did you post it? It could be I didn't go down the list for far enough. <clears throat> hey there. Thank you at Aisha. Yes, yes, yes. And y'all, y'all seen my wonderful cup that OB did. Look how pretty. And it says butterfly dreams. And my internet is going to be going in and out. Y'all guess it's because of the weather and stuff that's coming. Welcome in, Carol Clark. She says, hi, everyone. Welcome in, Carol. And hello, Mr. Dave, if you're listening or watching. Hello, hello, hello. There's Granny D, y'all. Granny D. Today's her born day. Loves, love to all hugs. The most huggable, adorable, and lovable granny that I know. I can't get in the bucket. See, it's too small, and I'm so fluffy. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> but you in the bucket, sis. You in the bucket. Hey, sweet V. Hey, V, Jen says. OVW Boo does such lovely work. Yes, she does. Not to mention these. A beautiful, beautiful butterfly hooks that has my name on them. Look at that, y'all. And they're purple. And let me show y'all my shirt. Got to show y'all my shirt. My, my $3 shirt from Walmart. It says radiate positivity. Mm, mm, mm. That's what we do. V said, let's dance some more, y'all. Well, let's dance. That's for you, V. Wow, that's beautiful. I have a cup tumbler obsession. Well... OVW, the one virtuous woman that you see in the chat. Um, if someone will drop her link or her Instagram, go check her out. And I grabbed this cup like this was the one I haven't. This cup is so pretty, and I hadn't finished loving on it, y'all. So I haven't used it yet. I, I'm not through loving on it, and I'm not through petting it and all that other stuff. So I, I just got to. So, I haven't used it yet, but yes. Beautiful. She says she liked mine so much she's making her one too. <laughs> uh, pastel Dreams. Everybody's still speaking. Granny D says, thanks for the birthday wishes. I'm so blessed to know and love y'all. Yes, we love you, Granny D. We love you. Frank says, hi, sis Jen. Uh, Tiffany Ola Joe says, send her email and she'll send it to you. The um, live schedule. Margaret G, did you get your package yet? Sunita said, I got my Sunita. Yes. And I love it. 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 Y'all, my room is a mess and I don't know where nothing is at. <coughs> Ola Joe, look what I got. Yeah, I'm so happy. And it's cotton. Y'all know I'm going to make something with it. This is the Deep Sea by Ola Joe, y'all. Hand died by Melissa from Crochet in Agreement. I love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. They so soft, too. And it's a four weight. I'm going to make something with them. Thank you, Sunita. I didn't expect that, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I only expected this, and that might be why my internet messing up, because I opened it up to try to see, could I see what it said without the umbrella opening up? 
and I accidentally pushed the button. And when I pushed the button, it just said poof. But I don't believe in superstition. So, you know, just saying. But I love the umbrella. And like I told y'all, it's got yarn on it and everything else. I promise you, my husband will use this umbrella. If I let him know I have it, he will. I have a crochet hook obsession, Lisa. Yes, we all we all got our little yarn hooks, <laughs> cups, everything else. Because my husband sure said, what you need another cup for? You can't drink out of but one. <clears throat> Beba says, yay. Everybody speaking to Granny D's. Pastel. Tiffany, I put updates on Facebook page a day ago. She put the updates on Facebook a, a day ago. You're welcome, Tiffany. Grand, excuse me, Grandy says, Hi, Annette, Maribel, Lydia, V, Margie, and all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. V says, Hi, my Lamazy Margaret. Why, I miss Sandrine. I don't see Sandrine. There go, my bestie. I had to go back up. It's the chat jumped on me. Woo! Welcome, bestie, bestie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody speaking to Sandrine, Ala Joe, Mavicki says happy birthday, Granny D. Aisha said, let's keep on dancing, y'all. So this is for you. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Aisha. I got your name wrote down, and I will show it to you here in just a minute. Sunita said, what email you want me to send your gift at? Knit Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D. Thompson. Email Sunita. Miss Margie said, let's dance some more, y'all. This is for you, Miss Margie. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much, Miss Margie. And I wrote the wrong name on there. And I'm not going to show it. <laughs> Aisha, this one is yours. And Miss Margie, this one is yours. Love that colorway. Yes, I do too, Granny D. It is so, so, so nice. So, y'all's two names. Or in the bucket right there. <clears throat> Sunita, my husband is checking the mail shortly. Okay, I got mine today. She actually texted me and said, it said they left it on your front porch. Because I sure wasn't at home, y'all. I went to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> but I went for this. <laughs> I went for what I needed. But I got more than what I needed. Yeah, Ola Joe, it opened up. <laughs> Miss Diane says she got her hooks from OVW, y'all. I love them. Y'all know I got a set to do as a giveaway. I do, I do, I do. Sunita said it might be tomorrow, Margaret. Welcome in, Renee, with natural. Nay, nay. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Ronell says she updated her Instagram. You updated it with a picture of me. <laughs> with my donut glasses on. We got to have some donuts for their coffee, right? Welcome in, Nana Michelle. I'm, I believe I missed you, but welcome, welcome, welcome. If I did, I am so sorry. Welcome in, Lori. Welcome, welcome, welcome. She said, Granny D, congratulations on making another trip around the sun. May your next journey be full of health and adventure. Love that. Love that. Granny D says she'll email you, Sunita. Thanks, hon. And Lydia says she wants to dance too, y'all. 
So let's dance. Yay! Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Miss Diane says, hello, my sweet V. And we got Miss Ashley with M to the O to the B to the S. Yonnery and cooking in the house. Welcome, Ashley. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ronell said, thumbs up. I know what that thumbs is. Oh, I still need to do my video and post my 500 hat and I hate giveaway. Yes, you do, honey. I send you the picture, sis Jeannie. And I, G. Veronica, you got me too. <laughs> Y'all know I don't care. <laughs> my daughter, Chastity, seen it. She said, Mama, y'all be acting a fool on YouTube, don't you? I said, we do. <laughs> we just have fun. All right. You went to Dollar Tree today and got you some yarn and pencil holder pouch. All right. Because these two were made with Dollar Tree yarn and a Dollar Tree pouch. So you have a nice little notion pouch here for $2.25 because the yarn was a dollar when I bought it and the pouch was a dollar twenty-five when I bought it. And I have enough yarn left out of each scheme to make another one. So it don't take a lot of yarn, y'all. Um I just did this one. I started this one yesterday evening and I just finished it this evening. Um this one I did to figure out all of the specs and stuff on. So, and they're, they're both the same. So, um, and I put my little label on there. <clears throat> my Dollar Tree has some just active yarn. That just active yarn is polyester and acrylic. It's soft though. It's good yarn. I do crochet with it. And natural nay nay, I'm going to have to click. Thank you, love the welcome. You're welcome, Renee. Nay nay. I could have hit a Byron. Nay, nay. <laughs> welcome in, Kelly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome in, Miss Gloria. Welcome in, Iris. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to see you here. Welcome. Miss Gloria says, good evening, Jeannie, and everyone else in the chat. Thank you, OVW. That's what we're fixing to get ready to do. Miss Debbie said, oh, don't mention them things. Hi, Judy. I'm working on my taxes, but came in to give you my thumbs up. I'll watch the replay. All right. Ronell said, I'm using Dollar Tree yarn that tonight, but I didn't have a chance to get my Dollar Tree today, but hopefully we'll go tomorrow. Well, that's okay. If you don't have the pouch, that's fine. You, you can make it, put it to the side, and when you get the pouch, you can finish it. That's not a problem. If you don't have the pouch, that is fine. Um, let me get off a of Wi-Fi on my phone. That might help. That might help. Okay. <laughs> Ronell said, add it again. <laughs> Ira says, hello, Kivia. For some reason, I can't see the bottom message. Thank you, Jeannie. You're welcome, Ira. So glad you are here. So tonight, I will be using pastel peach. Again, Dollar Tree yarn. And cream so it's going to be like a peaches and cream pouch um <clears throat> if you are going to go to dollar tree 
and get this bag like this. I will give you the exact measurements of this bag. It is right at eight inches wide by six inches. If you get this bag, you will need to use, and you use Dollar Tree yarn or four weight yarn. I look the tag in the bag and it says don't wash. I will just use the pattern. Well, this don't say nothing about it on that tag. And I didn't see a tag on the inside of the bag. No. Now, this one is like cloth on the outside and plastic on the inside. So, um, this one came from Hobby Lobby. I did pick up two of those today when I was there. Let me see what it says on, on the tag. Machine wash cold with light colors. Do not bleach. Warm iron to them dry low. So the ones from Hobby Lobby you can wash. I mean, I would even wash this one because it's cloth on the outside and plastic on the inside. And it has no care instructions. So not on the inside of this one it don't. And it don't say on the tag. Just says Greenbrier International out of Chesapeake, Virginia. Imported by somebody. Made in China. So, um, but I'll use this one tonight. But if you if you get this bag, use a four millimeter hook and chain 36 plus one 37. If you go to the uh, Hobby Lobby and get this one, now let me tell y'all something. Dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree, a dollar twenty-nine at Hobby Lobby, and the bag is bigger. And I'll give you the measurements for it. This one is about nine inches by six and a half. Um. Me personally, if you can get to Hobby Lobby or Michael's, I'd go out there and grab some of these. <clears throat> if you get one of these, you will use a five millimeter hook and still chain 36 plus one for 37. That's that's the difference in your bag size is your hook size. Yeah. Um Hey, uh, Marsha Lee, welcome in. Seeing Stitches Creations. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You talking about the little um, sachet bag? Iris, yeah. Um, the same pattern, we're using the exact same pattern that we used last week to make those sachet bags with, to make these with. Since everybody, most people already had it and had it printed out and stuff. And I just had those bags showing on the chastity. And I see, I don't even know where they went to now. Here they are laying right here in front of me. I have so much stuff over there. So this is what you're talking about. These. Same bags, I just changed the color way up. I mean, the color striping up. Yeah, if you get, if you, yeah, bigger is better. And this is the difference in the sizes. See the Dollar Tree bag on top? And this is the Hobby Lobby bag back here. Four cents more. So. Okay, Granny D. OVW, if you have, well, put it to you like this. Whatever size bag you have, you go ahead, pick a hook that you think is going to work, and chain 36, 37, chain 37, and put it across your bag at the bottom. It doesn't have to fit from corner to corner as long as it has some stretch to it. As long as when you stretch it out, it fits from side to side. 
So since I'm going to be doing this bag and not the Hobby Lobby bag, I will be using a four millimeter hook. Hey, Tank you, Poo. Welcome in. Tank says she's working and lurking. So go ahead and chain 36 plus 1, 37, and just try it across your bag. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I think I got to flip my camera around. I think it's backwards from where I was doing the tutorial. I got to flip it. All right. Yep. Okay. So what you're going to actually need <clears throat> is your yarn, of course. This is the transparent thread that I got from Hobby Lobby. They only had two, and I got those two. Now, I went to Prattville, Ivy. <laughs> and I'm going to show you all the difference. <clears throat> Now, if you can't find the transparent thread, you can use mono, uh, monofilament, illusion cord. It's clear, it's transparent. But it's just a little bit pokey to me. Okay, um, Iris, don't rush, baby. Be safe. I'll wait on you. <laughs> and see, you, bar you, you barely can see it. Now, you can, of course, see where you put your stitches because of the bag. But you can't see it through your thread, through your yarn on there. And it's a little bit stiff when you tie it in a knot. So if you're putting your hand in there, it's not going to scratch you. But it it's just, I know it feels that way. That's a pet peeve, y'all. Whereas this, you can only see where I went through because it pulled the purple with my needle right there with the transparent you can't see it at all now of course you can see where i sewed my tag on with it but it's soft it's not you don't you can't feel it <laughs> ivy says she likes pokey <laughs> so this is the purple and turquoise one that i did and Go ahead and chain 36 plus 1 for Okay, you're going to need a needle to attach it to the zipper part. You'll need a darning needle to sew in your ends. And we will need a stitch marker for just a few rows. Not many at all, just a few. <clears throat> so, this is my 37 chains with the 4 millimeter hook. And this is how you determine what size hook you need and... Jen, you said you need a lot of chains. Hey, Bella, welcome in. Welcome in, Bella. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, That's fine. You can use a big bag like, like this one that I had made. Right here. It's just this is the technique that you use to determine. Now, if you're doing the mosaic, is done in multiples of 12. So you your chain has to be a, a multiple of 12, like 36. So try 24, Jen. Once you got a little bitty one like this one, you might have to go, what size hook are you using? You got a little pouch like that one? You might have to go down a hook size. 
<clears throat> Let me pull it up on my phone because I'm not seeing all the messages on stream. I can't see the bottom, very bottom message. Hey, Miss Donna, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Does the 36 supposed to go around both sides? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's not going to fit around both sides. Okay. All right. Well, you, if you crochet loose, Jen, <laughs> you might want to go down to maybe a 3.5 and try it. But when I take my chain, and this is my 37, and I lay it here like this, you see, it's see, it's not even touching this corner down here all the way. I still probably got about a half an inch left, but that's fine because... It's going to stretch and fit perfect. Same pouch as me with pink ball. That Karen one pound is thick, though. It's a lot thicker than this four weight. Oh, no, Iris. You can use Dollar Tree yarn. You can use cotton for these or you can use acrylic. Either one. It doesn't matter. Okay, Tiffany, thank you for being here, though. You have a nice evening, too. Tank, you have a command, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> the the Nightbot automatically thing is not working right, so... um. But you have a command. It's exclamation mark tank. And Raven has a command. And hers is uh, exclamation raven. Then I'll get Miss Margie one set up. And um, Christina one set up as well. So. Um, but yes. these this, is, this will be perfect. Because we're not going to increase our chain. Tank, they probably not going to be dropping a lot of links because we're doing this craft. The chat probably fixing to go cold. <laughs> but you can drop your own link. Um, As long as you got a command, it shouldn't hurt you. Yeah. Okay, Jim figured it out. How What you did? Tightened up your, your tension? Um, Iris, if you're planning on going to Dollar Tree and getting a pouch like this and you're using Dollar Tree yarn, use a four millimeter hook, which is a G. Ivy, you should have a command. I don't know. Nope, I see one. Let me write you down. I'll make you one. I got you wrote down for one. Size 5 hook and 24? Hmm. All right. <clears throat> I need to get back to StreamYard. <laughs> okay. Once you have your 24, now, Jen, you need to do 25. If you do 24 chains, you need to add one. If you do 36, you need to add one for a total of 37. Welcome in, Miss Lisa. She says, hello, listening while doing house stuff. Hey, Mama G Gear. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Kelly Creates. Welcome in, welcome in. 
Mom G Gear says big hugs to all. And um, whatever number change you do, if, make sure it's in multiples of 12. And you add one to the end of it for a total of 24. I mean, for the extra turning chain. So this is 36 plus 1 for 37. We're going to work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Now this is important that you do this. Take your stitch marker. This is your first single crochet. Take your stitch marker, and you might want to do that one kind of loose because we're going to work in that turning chain. And place your stitch marker through that turning chain. Just like that. Oh, let me pull my camera down. Lord have mercy, I got y'all trying to struggle seeing. <laughs> so place your stitch marker in that turning chain. And then work one single crochet all the way to the end in every chain. That turning chain we will work into, but it is not going to count as a stitch. And you can make your single crochets kind of loose, and it'll keep the, the stretch in it. You hadn't all heard all the what yet, Tank? Uh, OV, if you go to my community tab from last week, um, you can click on the link and get the pattern. Let me see if I can. Y'all give me just a sec. Go ahead and continue working your one single crochet down till you get to the end. And just uh, wait on me to come back. And we'll um, let me share this. Let me let me share this to my community tab again, so she won't have to go through anything. Share. OVW, I just reshared it to my community tab, so it'll be the first one when you go to it, and you'll see the little blue link in there for the um, mosaic chart, which I could show the chart. I can show the chart, but um, I decided to go with the same one so that everybody, since everybody already had it. Okay, one single crochet till you get to the end of your chain. And I will let, let people get caught up because like I said, if we don't get this done tonight, we can finish it Monday. But I will let you know everything that you have to do tonight for those that want to be that want to get finished okay now see this is my chain see that nope y'all can't see it because I ain't in camera that's with my first row of single crochets on it and I love this Dollar Tree yarn the more I work with it the more I love it but y'all do know 
that the Premier Just Yarn Worsted is the same as the Premier Basics Yarn. Oh, you haven't heard all the semis yet? No, some of them hadn't. They got till tomorrow to post their winnings. And we're going to do ours tomorrow as well. Welcome in, uh, Jonah's Crochet Journey. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, OVW, let me know when you have that pattern, darling. <clears throat> And I'll go ahead and let y'all know what we need to do. We're going to turn and work back down the side of the chain. But we're not increasing. We're going to work our next single crochet right here. Right there. In that top part of that last chain. So once you put that double crochet there. And then this is what I do so I know what to do, y'all. Yes, Amanda, the Dollar Tree yarn is the exact same yarn as the Premier Basics. So you put your um, stitch mark. I put my needle in my stitch that I'm going to work my next single crochet in. And I take a stitch marker and I put it in the next single crochet because if you work into that space right there in between those two, you're increasing. Yes, yeah, single look, Iris. When you when you make that first single crochet in that second chain, put a stitch marker in that turning chain. See how I got that stitch marker in that turning chain right there? Before you make your next single crochet, put that stitch marker in your turning chain. And Veronica needed a specific blue to finish her mosaic blanket that she was working on. She couldn't find it at none of her Dollar Trees. I couldn't find it at none of mine. And I said, Veronica, what, what is it? She said, it's slate blue. Hey, Miss LaShara, welcome in, welcome in. And I had some of the slate blue in um, Premier Basics. Sent it to her. And they are identical. I actually think I have some peach in the Premier Basics somewhere. I know I do. It's somewhere. But yeah, they're, they're the same yarns. Hmm. That's the bright purple. I don't have no bright purple. But yeah, they're the same same yarns. <clears throat> okay. So, now that we got this established on how we're going to turn around this corner, I'm going to remove my needle. And I'm going to insert my hook in that top part. And I, I crochet over my ends, y'all. And I'm going to work one single crochet. I'm going to insert into that stitch where I got my stitch marker. And I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to work one single crochet. And I'm going to continue working one single crochet in that. See how they look like little loops? You want to go in that top part of it. Until I get to my stitch marker at the beginning of my chain. One single crochet. Just like that. You see how it's curling up? That's what we want it to do. Okay, Kivia. Okay. 
Amanda, I'm using Dollar Tree yarn to make a mosaic blanket with, and Veronica has made a full entire mosaic blanket for one of her sons where the only thing she used was Dollar Tree yarn. And there's nothing in the world wrong with it at all. And it don't break me out. I can use it. Okay, when I get to the stitch marker, I'm going to make sure everybody is where they need to be. And don't forget that one right there because that's not part of the, the your stitch marker stitch. See that? Make sure to get that last one. All right, I'm, I'm to my stitch marker back to the beginning. So I'll let everybody else get caught up. Um, did you see my Bear Chronicles? Yes, uh, Jen. Jen, did you see my Bear Chronicles yet? <laughs> Jen says, no, Purple. I've made three Look of the Draws with Dollar Tree Just Yarn. I love it. Yes, Nana Michelle, I love it, too. Yes, so soft and nice. That's the, um, my other color that I'm using tonight is the cream. Right there. I went to my Dollar Tree Saturday to get me. I was looking for those glasses and I couldn't find them. That's why I ended up getting the um, um, no, Iris, you don't put two single crochets. When you get to the end, you find that top loop of that last chain and work in it make sure you don't work in the the other loop that looks like a the next single crochet but it's not and then you work one single in the top of every single crochet back down so don't mm -mm. you just work go around and then that's the very last chain you're gonna work one more single crochet then you're gonna put one in every in the top of everyone back down we're not increasing well chastity picked out these colors for me i took her i don't tell y'all where i took her but i took her to the tote that i have my dollar tree yarn in and um she picked peaches and cream so we're doing peaches and cream tonight but i made this one with the with the uh, bright turquoise and the purple i know it's not showing up purple but this is purple and bright turquoise dollar tree yarn and these are dollar tree yarns right here too so dollar tree is awesome so you can do this make them sell them pay what a couple of dollars to make if you buy your, even if you buy your notion bag from Hobby Lobby, a dollar thirty, compared to a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree, and not all Dollar Trees have those bag, have those. Hey, sweet tea, I love you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dark sky, you lost where you lost at, honey. Cause I will rip this back and show y'all. So you continue with a single crochet at the bottom of the last single crochet. Yes, you you go once you do your last chain, your last single crochet. On um, when you're going down the chain, you get your last single crochet. You're gonna turn and go back down the other side. You just want to make sure you put one. Thank you, Lisa. I got them from somebody in California. The company is out of California. They're wood, they're burnt in with by um wood. Uh they they burn them. And they're like cork. Um you don't want to increase. So this was my last single crochet right here. 
And the only thing I did was turn and I put one more single crochet in that in that um, top part of that chain. And then I put one in the next one. And then the next one. So you don't you don't want to increase. It, and it and I know y'all probably thinking, well, if we don't increase, how's it gonna go up? You'll see. It's gonna fold right on up. See? See, that's the bottom right there. And this is how it's done. It's going to fold. Yeah, we miss you too, sweet tea. We understand your situation, though. You're welcome, Marsha Lee. You think you have some turquoise yarn? Hmm. I was looking for mine that I used for that, but I can show you what I had left on this. This is the blue and the gray that I had left. Now I've got enough of the gray to do another one and enough of the blue to do another one. I would just switch the colors up and have the blue as my pattern color and the gray as my non-color. <clears throat> I had to get better with where I sit stuff, yeah. <laughs> it's in this room. It's just all this yarn in here is making everything blend together. And I can't and see there it is right over there by my super chat and super sticker bucket. Okay. Do y'all have this part or do we need to do this again? Because I can grab some more yarn and do it right quick with a shorter chain. Let's let me do that. Let me grab this gray so y'all can be able to see it. And we're gonna I'm gonna just do 12. So y'all can see this concept again. So I'm going to chain 13. Okay. I got 13 chains. Okay, OV. You're going to work one single crochet into that second chain just like this once you work that single crochet take your stitch marker and put it through that turning chain just like that and close it and leave it there Work one single crochet all the way down to the end. And I was finna skip one. Just like this. Now, this is what I do. I turn my chain over. I take my darning needle. And you see this top loop right here? By your slip knot, I stick my needle in it. I take my stitch marker. Because you see this one right here? You don't want to work in that one because that's all part of that same stitch. You want to put your another stitch marker right here 
so you know where you're going to work your next single crochet. I'm going to remove my needle and insert my hook through that top chain where I had my darning needle. Just like that. And I'm going to work over my tail. And I'm going to work one single crochet. And see how that stitch right there popped up? You don't want to work underneath that stitch. You go into the one where you put your stitch marker. And you work another single crochet. Just like that. Remove your stitch marker. And then continue to put one single crochet in every stitch till you get to your stitch marker at the beginning. Hey, Chandra, welcome in. So just like that. And when you get here, make sure not forget this one. And then we're here where our stitch marker is with our turning chain. So that's how you do it. You work one single crochet down, then you just work back across, but we're not increasing. Okay, sweet tea, thank you for coming in. So that's that's what we're doing. So that was just another example. And I'm going to move it out of the way. <laughs> I'll take care of it later. So now we've, we're down here to our stitch marker. Now I've put, I've removed, removed my stitch marker. And sometimes you have to force it, force your hook in there. Depends on how tight you crochet. And, and work that yarn up through there without splitting it. And work a single crochet. Just like that. Oh, uh, talking about these, Ronelle, that look like actual safety pins. These. Hobby Lobby. I seen them in there today. I was going down through all the aisles looking for clearance stuff. Right here. They was half off. And you get 40. I got extras. And you know why. <laughs> I don't shop for myself. I shop for y'all. So now what we're going to do is go into, that was our last stitch. Now we're going to simply go into the back loop of the next stitch and work a single crochet. Put your stitch marker there. And continue putting one single crochet in the back loop only of every single crochet all the way around and it's going to curl up on you that is fine that's what we want it to do we want it to curl so one single crochet in every single crochet all the way around.
we are not increasing our stitches. Now watch what happens here. This is the stitch from the other side. See how it's curling up? That's what you want it to do. And just work one single crochet in the back loop only. Because remember, we're doing mosaic. And the two rows, first two rows of single crochet is always regular single crochets. And that's your foundation. See how it's puffing up right there? That's what you want. Now, we're, that was our turning chain stitch. One single crochet goes in it. Take your stitch marker out. And continue in the back loop only. Put your stitch marker back in your first stitch. And continue around. We're going to go around one more time with this color and then we'll change over to our cream and we're going to join it just like we joined for to make the sachet bags let me get some yarn pulled out here it's wanting to get hung up so just continue around with the with your other color with your first color for one more row. Now after this row. We will not need the stitch marker anymore. You know when you got a good yarn to work with. And it feels good in your hands. And running through your fingers like butter. You get lost in your crochet. And time passes you by. And it makes you want to crochet. Just keep crocheting. And you look at the time and you like 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> How many of y'all have done that? So you just going to go around in that back loop only of every single crochet. See it curling? Hey, Raven. Welcome in and... I said you was a new member. Thank you so much. Welcome in, Venetia. Welcome. Okay, Angel. Thank you for being here. Raven says, hello, my sweet, beautiful Jeannie and all in the chat. I'm new. Welcome, 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 Raven. So glad you could be here. Since you're new, let me know where you're from. What's in your cup? What's on your hook? And if you crochet or knit. Okay, Kelly. Hey, VJ. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, when I have, when I'm working on stuff like this, I usually don't put it down till I get done. All right, I'm at my last single crochet before the stitch marker. 
Now, I know I crochet a little faster than... See, it looks like this is how it's going to start doing. And we're not increasing. So, you don't want to increase because then it, it'll be too big on one side. I just trimmed my tail up. Now it's gone. But yes, I love this yarn. Okay, let me know when y'all get to this point and ready to change over to your, to your other color. And I will show y'all why we crocheted in that turning chain. Because you, you're probably like, well, we actually got 37 stitches. Yeah, but we're going to lose one. Hi, winner, winner, chicken dinner at VJ's Crochet. Miss VJ, I emailed you back to let you know. Um, CJ, you can make it now and then um, always get your bag and put it inside. And just so, I, and if we get through this tonight, I will show y'all how to sew it to the zipper. If not, we'll do it next Monday. What we don't get finished with tonight, we will finish next Monday. <gasps> Ooh. Let me connect to my other Wi-Fi. And not the one that I'm on. So my comments will come through on my phone. Lori says, I'm ready. Jeannie, you're so awesome. Oh, thank you, Miss Lashera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Vanessa says, hi, Sunita. Tank, I'll try to make a playlist of it after the live tonight to see. Hey, beautiful sis VJ, Raven says. Let me know when y'all ready to move forward. Lori says she's ready. Jen, what about you and everybody else? Y'all ready to keep going? Because we're getting ready to switch colors. And remember, when you work mosaic in the round, you do not cut your yarn at the end of every row. You simply keep going. Oh, you're fine, Granny D family first. Okay, Lori, but we're going to try to get through this because it's only 12 rows, but we are going to be doing nine rows of single crochet. That's how I determined what it would take to get it to the, the, the design to be in the center. Ira says, no. Yeah, Raven, this is what we made last week, the little sachet bags right here. Using the same pattern, it's on my community tab, and inside here, I have my little organza bag with my uh, downy. Uh, scent boosters. 
Lydia says, if I didn't say hi to everyone, hello, crochet friends and family. So you can put these in your closet. You can put them in your vehicles. Wherever you want to put them. I put mine in my, well, these are staying in my room because it has my room smelling good. So if y'all get something from me, it smells like downy. Y'all know why. <laughs> yeah so and then this for those that are just now coming in this is what we're making tonight this is a mosaic uh notion pouch cover that's actually a notion bag y'all see them goodies in there 22 hours later my video video uploaded be right back Ms. VJ, sound like you got the same internet I got. <laughs> yeah, I like these because they were different. See, these are actual like bobby pins. And they actually have like a little blunt tip on them instead of the, the pointy tip. So I like these. And you know, you can just stretch them out. And they'll go back to shape. That's what I do to them. I hadn't broke none of them yet. <laughs> so let me know when y'all ready to move on. And we will keep on trucking. Oh, we got 64 thummies. Thank y'all. Raven says, no, share that again, please, so I can see inside my, my beautiful jean. The only thing inside of it is um, the stitch markers that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, these little things I got that you can put on the zippers. And then if you wanted to, you could actually crochet a strap to fit on your wrist. Um, they're iridescent. They change colors too. So they were half off as well. Then the only other thing in my bag is my OVW keychain. Her card. Oh, yeah, I can show that. That's all her information. If y'all want to take a screenshot. And my care instructions for my cook. That's what was in there, Raven. <laughs> All right, y'all ready to move on? Welcome in, Miss Beverly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I ain't put them back in there. Okay. Now we're going to change over to our... Now remember this last stitch I worked into was that 30 was that turning chain which would have gave us 37 stitches, right? Well, when you work in mosaic in the round, we're going to insert in that top bump of the next single crochet, pull our yarn through and slip stitch. And we're going to pull make sure you pull that tight. Your color that you're switching from pull your cream tight and chain one and make sure it's tight just like we did last week on those little bags now we're going to work in the next stitch one single crochet in the back loop only and we're going to do that all the way around 
until we get where we joined. And we will switch back over to our peach. And I will show y'all what to do next. So one single crochet in the back loop only. Till we get to the join. So this is going to be peaches and cream. That sounds good. And I just poke mine up like that to work around. I know the side that I'm looking at is my uh, right side my wrong side is always laying in my hand so when we slip stitched into that stitch to join we lost that stitch so that's why Veronica says 67 thumbs up Raven says hello my sweet super magenta V she said thanks everyone for being here with my amazing genie thank you sis V I love all y'all for being here Okay, so that is our last single crochet before we slip stitch. That's our slip stitch right there, so we're not, don't worry about that. Now we're going to, this is our chain one that we did. We're going to go into that back loop of it, pull that tight, drop our cream, or whatever color you're working with, Pick up your other color and work a slip stitch just like that. And you want to make sure that it's tight. Chain one, make sure it is tight. And continue in your next color working one single crochet in the back loop only until you get back to where you joined. all the way around and what that is going to do also is have your join on the side and not in the middle or on the top or the back of your project it'll be on the side So just continue, and when you get back to your join, I will meet y'all there. I'm crocheting right along with y'all. I'm trying to go slow. VJ said, back at the rate I was going, the winners were going to be picked before my semifinalists knew who they were. <laughs> Yeah, my video is going to have to be short. Or I might have to do it from my phone and go to town. Well, I don't know. It'll it'll upload. I might need to do it tonight when I get off this live, though. And go ahead and upload it. So we're just going to continue working around. And it's going to curl up. That's fine. 
that's what we want. Y'all can see okay? Who's waiting on me to get to the end of this row? I'm at the end. See? We're going to put that bag right inside of there. And we're done. Miss VJ, it took mine th over 30 minutes to upload a minute and 30 second video last week. Jen said, I don't know what slow is. That was actually slow, Jen. When you get back to the end, you're going to join with your other color the same way we just did. And I don't know why I didn't sew over that end, but I am fixing to this go round. So right here, and sometimes it's hard to see, but this is our actual slip stitch. This is our chain one. We're going to go in that back loop. Of that chain one and if you make it tight you're gonna catch the the Dickens to get in it pull your previous color tight on your hook and I always hold it with my finger and pull through with your next color like that and then that's gonna loosen up but pull it tight make sure you pull your color that you're leaving um down tight chain one and just kind of make it a little bit tight and then continue with one single crochet i'm gonna bring that white tail up and crochet over it y'all continue to work one single crochet in the back loop only until you get back to where it's time to change your color again and we're going to change colors every time that same way you slip stitch with your new color you pull your previous color tight and you chain one and you make your chain one kind of tight i know that just went a little crazy there pull you out i'll cut you and then just you just continue working one single crochet in the back loop only and we're going to do that for a total of nine rows which this is the first one so one two three hold on a minute one two three four five this is the fifth one Now, you could do more rows in solid colors. Um, if you wanted to, without striping it. But I like the stripe effect. I 
oh and something else i didn't mention to say whatever color you do your base with here what you start with will be your pattern color hey delphine welcome in the <laughs> raven you're so silly <laughs> uh, Raven said, Jen, if you watch the replay of this live, you can slow it down as much as you want, hun. <laughs> Let me get some yarn. This is a tight ball here. I believe it might have had a little more than what they what the label says. Sometimes they have more, sometimes they have less than what the label says. But it don't be more or less on the price, does it? See, Jen, I'm going slow. Just for you. Insert your hook into the back loop. Pull up a loop. Route. Pull through two. Insert through the back loop. Pull up a loop, wrap, pull through two. <laughs> you feel like you're chasing me. All right, and I'm back to our joins, and you can see it a little bit better here. This is where I join with the slip stitch right here. And this is my chain one right here. So when you get ready to change your color with your yarn that you're ending with, you go in that back loop of that chain one. You drop the color that you're ending with. Pick up the color that you're fixing to start with. And you slip stitch. See that, that white, right? that cream color on mine is my slip stitch. I'm going to pull it tight. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to make it tight. And then I'm going to go in the back loop of the next stitch and work a single crochet. And I'm going to do that all the way around, just like that. And I'm going to cut this little tail here that I crocheted over. And Raven said, I can stop and read the comments. Says, Jeannie, you better, you better stop. <laughs> I'll, I'll give y'all time to catch up, Iris. Let me read the comments. That, that's it, says Jenny. I'm getting my Super Magenta V some pink chocolates for a gift, so she has to wear them. I will make sure she does too, Raven. That I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, VJ, my internet is bad. Miss VJ said, I learned last week to watch Jenny's replay. I'm actually um, doing a tutorial on this. So it will be a tutorial put out on my uh, channel. Now, I don't know when it'll upload because of the internet, but it will be out there. That way you don't have to go back and watch the live. I'm almost through with it. And Raven says, Jen, if you watch the replay, I said that already. Ms. Welcome in, Miss Deborah. Welcome. That is very pretty, Jenny. I have been watching, but had to finish a crochet ballerina bunny for my granddaughter for her recital. So glad that's done. Oh, I bet that's pretty. Send me a picture. Iris, she's so fast to crochet. I've actually been crocheting slow. <laughs> Uh, 
Raven said, I still love Sis B, even though she's still laughing at me. <laughs> oh, Sis Jean, you better. You better. Stop. <laughs> Y'all know when Ron say, you better, better. You better, better. Mama J is in the house. Welcome in, Mama J. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Jeannie, baby, and hey, all in the chat. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm actually doing it. Um, I got... About half of it done. Right, Veronica. Ronell is probably done. Where did it go? Lord, did I block Ronell? Did I delete her message? Oh, Ronell, she probably done with that and she was sent the picture and email right oh christy you and you were you where are you you just popped in been watching tornadoes Ooh, uh elizabeth if you still watching or are you here or you hear me or whatever just from time to time uh just give me a thumbs up to let me know that y'all okay made it <laughs> all right bb phone call <laughs> so what what we're gonna keep doing so this is one two three four five this will be six so just keep doing this changing your colors until you have nine rows total I'm not counting. This is the back loop that we worked into from the from our chain, so that don't count. It's this one right here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then this one will be six. So we we can chit chat. Oklahoma, we had one hit about sixty miles south. Oh, Christy, y'all be safe. Welcome in, Joanne, darling. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We can um just when you get done with this next with your six row, when you get back here, change over to your next color and do that for three more rows. So this is row six. And we just gonna continue. Just make sure you put these single crochets in that back loop only. If not, it's going to be wonky. And I mean wonky. Now, you can make these notion covers using different stitch patterns. Um, you would just need to make sure that you do your chain in the multiples for the stitch pattern that you want to use. Um, I know some, some make the mosaic notions were making the notions where they started at the zipper and worked down oh no 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 i wouldn't even do that i would not even try to put a chain around a a zipper even if it's a loose zipper i would go from the bottom up and then i would sew my zipper to my pouch
And that's the last one. Now I'm going to grab my, go into that chain one. And slip stitch with my other color. Pull this tight. The reason you're pulling it tight is so when you work the mosaic pattern, it looks like it's just a continuation of the pattern and not, you don't have a gap in between your pattern. Mine, Jen, right now I'm on row, I just finished row six. And if I stick it inside the bag, or I stick the bag inside of it, rather. It comes up like that. So, this is nine rows here, Jen. If you look, you might not see the nine, but it's nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So seven, eight. So it's eight rows. So we need to do eight rows. You see that, Jen? And see how it fits perfect? Oh, I like watching him too, Tank. Hey, Jeannie, welcome in. Miss Beverly says she wants to know which of y'all are doing this now with me. I know Jen is and I know Ronell is. Um, You're going to stop on your secondary color. So when I stop, it'll be on the cream. So I will do this row of cream. No, it's going to be three more rows. Yeah, I'll do this row of cream and one more row of peach. And mine and got twisted. And then I will do another row of um, cream. So I'm going to do this row in cream. Jen, you're getting me confused. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> so keep going. Iris is doing it. So work a, one more row in the cream. All the way around in the back loop only. Vanessa is doing it. Donna G is doing it. Iris is doing it. <laughs> okay, Lori. When nature calls, it's got to fall, y'all. She said, nature calling. Ivy B's making it. And some of them go back and watch the replay, Miss Beverly, and watch, and make it. And they send me pictures. Once they make it. And I'm putting together the slideshow. Which we will show Saturday. During the Yarny Fiber Sisters. Um, This is my seventh row right now. And I'm going to do two more after this one.
I'll do one more in peach and then one more in cream and I'll that'll be it and then I'll start the mosaic pattern so that's nine total because this is row seven Yeah, because if I lay it like this and count, this my that's my foundation row. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll do two more. This yarn is so luscious. Luscious, luscious, luscious. So now we grab our other color. We're going to skip that slip stitch there and we're going to go in that back loop of that chain one. And we're going to slip stitch with our new color. Pull that white and tighten it up. And chain one. Make sure you don't sew, you don't crochet over your other yarn. Yeah, nine rows. So one single crochet in the back loop only, all the way around. Oh VW, I'm gonna do a. T I'm actually doing the tutorial. I've got about half of it done. Um, so I'm actually doing a tutorial for this, and then I'm gonna do the one for the sachet bags. Then um, I'm going to work on the Lava Rock Poncho that I did using the Crystal Cakes. So, and I got to finish my Havana Mosaic. I got to do my um, Scenic Beauty Mosaic Blanket. I've been. I, I'm. A, I need an administrator. Who wants to come help me crochet? me what is the pay <laughs> Sunita well a lot of uh, good cooking and love pay <laughs> can I pay with love and good cooking and of course nothing but kindness and happiness Mom J says, thumbs, please. So, yeah. I'm fixing to do my last row of cream. Then I will go, then we'll start the pattern. Or you can start the pattern after this row if you wanted to. You would just do you would just do the cream as the primary color now. Cuz whatever color you start the first row of the pattern with will be your A color. Sunita so says acceptable. Woohoo, 77 thumbs. Yay! Y'all, please subscribe to the amazing and beautiful Sissy Liz. That is Life Talk with Liz, who is probably still in the bushes.
We probably got a lot of people in the bushes. Welcome in, though. Thank y'all for being here. Whether you're peeping through the bushes or not. Let me see. Let me see if I can find y'all out there in the bushes. Let me put my cup, 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 cupcake glasses on so can I find y'all. Ooh, I can see clearly now. Mm-hmm. You should have 36 on one side and 36 on the other side, Lori. Remember, if you did 36 plus 1, there goes Sissy Liz. I told you she's still in the bushes. Um, You had 36 chains plus 1. You had 37. We did 36 down. We put our stitch marker in the turning chain. Um, <laughs> Divergent says you better stay up out of my bushes, girl. LOL. Hey, y'all. Hey, Diver. Hey, Crystal. Um, <clears throat> oh, good, Miss Margie. I will make sure y'all make sure to check out Miss Margie's channel. If I can get someone to drop hers, um, she will have a link Saturday. Um, and it'll be Margie. Mama J Raven has a link now. Hers is exclamation Raven. Howdy, David. Welcome in. Glad you are here. Thank you. Nana Michelle's in the bushes working on my bod beaded poncho for Granny D. Yes. So, yeah. I know my lurkers now. <laughs> you have two extra stitches. Sure. Lori, is it coming out straight on the sides like this? Or does it look like one size bigger than the other? Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Sunita. Seventy nine thummies. Woohoo. Sorry about all that click clack going on with my phone. Oh, I definitely understand, Crystal. 79 pieces of buttermilk cornbread, y'all. <laughs> look, Nan, I know what you mean. During the day, I do a lot of lurking. Oh, thank y'all so much. Y'all go check out Miss Margie and please join her family. Uh, no, my main color is going to be the peach. Oh, just because. Thank you, M to the O to the B to the S. Oh, Sissy, you do your nails, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is for you. And that is you, Ashley. Thank you so much, darling. Ashley said we needed to dance, y'all. Yes. Don't mess up your nails, honey. Gotcha. In the bucket you went. Oh, them's going to smell good because I put one of them little sachet bags. <laughs> I put one of them in there.
Miss Beverly, your command is Bevy. B E V I E. I should have put I should have put cornbread. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I kept wondering why that little exclamation mark was on my thing down there by my weather, by my um temperature is we're under flood watch. Yes, thank y'all so very much. And Miss Margie, I will get you a command. It will be working Saturday during the Yarny Fiber Sisters. And um, I got after this live, I got to share out my members too on my community tab. Oh, sissy, still learning to put acrylic on. Yes. Chastity did some nails the other day and she put butterflies in them. Y'all, yeah, she's working on some new stuff, too. She's um, creating some stuff. Um, for my members. Maribel, I love your mosaic blanket that you're doing. And Ronell and uh, 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 Sunita, I have got to send y'all a thing from PayPal for y'all stuff y'all ordered. It will be put in the mail tomorrow. Um, let's see. These are the nails she did, sissy. See the butterflies in them? I did, Jen. I got yours. I've gotten a lot of pics. Look, y'all, I don't care what it is that y'all are making. Send me pictures, and I will include them into the slideshow. I'm going to show y'all this blanket that Miss Vicky just sent me. Um, y'all know we talked about the history of crochet Saturday, and anything that y'all had old that was crocheted years and years ago, if you had it, take a picture and send it to me. So, here's an older Afghan that um, had made when I lived in Oklahoma, probably in 1972. You can tell because of the colors. The yarn has to be Red Heart. That's all there was. I had bought it at TGNY. That's all that was available at that time. Look at that blanket, y'all. It looks like a Jacob's Ladder blanket. All right, well, it's the, where you do the chain and then you connect all of them together. That is so pretty. And back in 1972, that blanket's older than me by a year. That blanket is 47 years old. That's what I'm saying. Red Heart Super Saver is some good yarn. It's just... um, Hers is Nana. Mama J, I believe it's Nana. i tell you in just a second. Yeah, Nana, N-A-N-A. -N -A. So. Oh, look at Jen's trivet she made for March, y'all. Y'all gonna see these again Saturday. Oh, David, send me a picture of it. And I will feature it in my slideshow Saturday. Because we're gonna be putting together a presentation for um the history of crochet. 
And Saturday, we asked people, how long have you been crocheting? Who taught you how to crochet? And when you were when you were taught how to crochet, what type of hooks did you start out with? And what type of yarn did you start out with? And what was the name of some of the stores that you could purchase yarn from when you learned how to crochet? Oh, she made a... That looks like a two-liter bottle, Jen. <laughs> But look what she did. She did the wine bottle cover. I love it. Y'all know that just really, really makes my day when y'all send me stuff that y'all made using what I've taught. And this is her blanket that she's doing. That is going to be pretty. I love how them colors are playing together, Jen. She said it is. It's a two liter. Yeah. Now, Miss Vicky. Is this Miss Vicky before I say? Yep, Miss Vicky. Now you need to get them earrings from Veronica. Look at that. Look at that moo cow blanket. This was a corner to corner. Blanket. That is so cute. It's got the little legs in each corner and the little amigurumi head. I love that, Miss Vicky. That is so pretty. And all this will be showed um, Saturday. All right, let me move on to my row of cream so I can get done. All right. So, again, we're going to slip stitch into the top, that back loop of that chain one. Drop our color that we're ending with. And join with the new color. Pull that one tight. Chain one. Tighten it up a little bit. And go into the back loop and work around. And after this row, we will start our mosaic pattern. And I will let you know, if you don't have the mosaic pattern, I will let you know what's, what to do. <clears throat> Ms. Vicki uh, Crystal with Divergent Crafter said her niece would be in love with that blanket. Is that a pattern that you can buy? Now she just needs those cow earrings Veronica made. And she'll have her cow blanket and her cow earrings. Tank says drunk cow. Huh? <laughs> and when I say moo, it sounds like a sick cow. Where does Sis V and uh, Magenta Raven go? That is good, Miss Margie. And we'll get you we'll get you more. Miss Margie and Jen, are y'all ready for um Cup to Hook movie night with Miss Cynthia Friday? I got to finish watching episode one and then watch episode two. And I'm making notes. Hmm. So 
So I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to slip stitch in that back loop of that chain one from the previous row. And I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch with my next color. And now we're going to start the mosaic portion of it. You'll do your homework later. You finished with your rows, Jen? Because we had not started the mosaic yet. Oh, you'll do your homework later. <laughs> About the Cup to Hook movie night. Yeah. I hadn't finished watching episode one yet. I kept getting interrupted by my husband and stuff. So I just said, while he's on the road, I'll watch it. Y'all can see a little bit better now. I forget this camera has a light on it. Y'all ready to start the mosaic pattern part? Don't get rid of your other color. Don't don't never cut your other color until the very end. Till we're completely done. That is so pretty. I really love that. Yep. Slide that little bad boy right on in there. Just like that. Fits like a glove. See? All right. I've been wanting to do more. Uh oh, Miss Davis, it, it jumped. I've been wanting to do more mosaic. I have an idea for a sweater, but I have other things to complete before I start that. Look, David, I completely understand that. I try to do this on my lives on Mondays to, you know, to give, a, you know, for us to have something to do and everything else. But I have four mosaic blankets going at one time, David. And um, I've been making these little notion bags and doing other stuff for us to be able to do the crap on Monday. So. Yes. All right, so we're going to start the mosaic pattern now. And we will end every row and start every row just like we've been doing with that chain one, slip stitch, change your color, and chain one. So for the mosaic part, for the first row, we're going to work one double crochet, front loop only. So what we're going to do is come down here, grab that front loop, just like that, and we're going to work a double crochet, just like that. Now, one thing that's important to remember with mosaic, make sure you don't work in that, that chain, that space behind your doubles. If you do, you're increasing your rows. If you get Ipsy bags, you'll be able to do a bag a month. Oh, you talking about the makeup bags, the Ipsy bags like Miss Pamela gets. And then next stitch is going to be a single crochet back loop only. Remember, in mosaic, in the round, let me say this. When working mosaic in the round, every single crochet is worked in the back loop. So if I just say single crochet, it's um, back loop only. Uh, Miss VJ, Ipsy bags are bags that you get makeup in. It's an actual subscription. You can sign up for it, and they'll send you a bag every month with different stuff in it. 
Then we're going to work two double crochets. And when I say double crochets, that means front loop only. So that is one and two. Then we're going to work three singles. One, two, and three. Then we're going to work two doubles. One and two. We're going to work one single. And we're going to work three doubles. One, two, and three. And I said three because once I end at the two, I come back to the beginning of the pattern. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about for those that might be new. Anytime you have a mosaic pattern, bye-bye. Let me get that light off of it too. Hold on. Oh, that's my light above me doing that in the ceiling. Okay. This is the start of the mosaic here. When you're working in the round, you do not worry about this stitch. This is your border stitch. So we start here. That was our one double. Then we did a single, two doubles, three singles, two doubles, one single. And I did three. But I didn't count this one. I counted this one back here. When you do a mosaic pat graph and you see this dark line in between, that separates the pattern repeat. So from here back to this stitch is your pattern repeat right there. So from here to that dark line is your repeat. This will be the same as over here. So I just automatically get here and come back here and go back and forth. So that's where I said that's why I said three doubles. So our next stitch is going to be a single crochet. And we're just going to continue repeating that until we get back to where we started from. So we're going to do a single. Two doubles. Now if you have the pattern, you can move right on ahead of me. Three singles. Two doubles. one single and three doubles then one single two doubles three singles Two doubles, one single, three doubles, one single, two doubles. three singles two doubles one single and three doubles one single oh See, I worked in the back loop of that one. I was fixing the increase. Two doubles. One single. And two doubles. One single. Mm -mm. That ain't right, y'all. Is two doubles, 
three singles, two doubles. One single, three doubles. One single, two doubles. Three singles. Two doubles. One single. And we're going to end with two doubles. Just like that. And you're not ending with three because you started with one. Then we're going to get here. And we're going to slip stitch in that back loop of that chain one. And we will change over to our other color. Pull that tight. And chain one. Just like that. Let me make sure I got my stitches right, y'all. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, two. One, three. One, two, three, two. Yeah, I got them right. Because if you don't get that row right, the next row, if you mess up on a row, your, your next row is not going to come out right. I am full of admiration for people who do demonstrations like 79 thumbs. I am full of admiration for people who do demonstrations like you're doing. I don't consider it a particular strength of mine, and I don't enjoy doing it. Oh, thank you, David. Why are you giving up, Iris? Oh, Tank. Yeah, look at Tank's dog she's going to be getting. He's a Rottweiler. Look. His name is Tank, but she's changing his name. So pretty. We used to have a Rottweiler. His name was Rock. Actually, I had two Rock and Wrinkles. One was so fat and wrinkled in the face. Till they ended up getting um, Parvo. And I took them to the vet. They gave them IV fluids and IV meds. Mr. Moto Reptile. We don't discuss uh, politics, Mr. Uh, Moto Reptile. Thank you, though. Thank you for your opinion. I don't know if he a troll or not. But we don't discuss politics. If he comes back with some more stuff like that, we can treat him as a troll and you know what to do. So once you finish your first row of mosaic, you move on to the next row. The next row is the easy row. It's all single crochets all the way around in the back loop only. So one single crochet in the back loop. Of every stitch around.
Now Ronell and them might pass me up on the pattern, y'all. <laughs> They may just pass me up. Chrisana, why you keep coming up with two extra stitches? I don't, I, I mean, I don't count my stitches as I go. I just work in my stitches that I got. You can still make it work. Just fudging, honey. Ronell gave a thumbs up. Hey, Cynthia. This is going to be a notion bag cover. Miss Cynthia. Oh, Miss Vicky, I hate yarn bars, but I always tend to get them. I always tend to get them. I hope Elizabeth and them are okay. I'm going to send her a message after this and check on her. All right, slip stitch in that back loop of that chain one. Drop that one. Pick up my next color and slip stitch and pull that tight. Chain one. Tighten it up a little bit. And next we're going to do, let me know if y'all on row three of the mosaic. Okay, uh, Lori. Oh, you working on your March beanie? That's okay, Chris. You could have still made it and, and put it inside the Notion pouch. Put the Notion pouch inside of it later. Um, That just fits right in there like a glove. I always open mine up and stick my hand in there. Make sure I got my corners in the corners and this is what it should be looking like see If y'all see mosaic pattern links drop, those are mosaic blankets that I am working on. You can turn any notion bag into something pretty. Hey, HD, HD, I got the box today. And this is the hook that was in there. Isn't she pretty? And for those that's wondering, HD won on Dina's Homespun Fun. And because she's not in the U.S. right now, she gave her winnings to me, except for the hook. So, um... HD, if you want me to hold on to this until you get back to the States, I will, and then I'll mail it to you directly. Or if you want to send me your neighbor's address, I will mail it to them. You just let me know. So, yeah. It's a nice hook. It's lightweight. It's not too big. And I love the yarn. And I got to see what all I can make with that. He 
He's an ex-military control dog. Ooh. Okay, HD, that'll work. <clears throat> you gonna do this for your granddaughter's bags? Yes. Yes, it's gonna be mosaic. Um, crystal. This is one that I've already made. Right here. That's purple and bright turquoise, by the way. All right, for row three, we're going to single crochet in the back loop in the first stitch. Then we're going to work two double crochets, front loop only in the row below, one single, three doubles, which is right here in all three of these, just like that. One single, two doubles, Remember, if I say double, you're still working in the front loop of the row below. And another thing to remember when doing mosaic. If you're working doubles, you're going to be working that double crochet in the same color that you're currently working with. Like I'm using peach. So I'm working my doubles in the row, in, in my peach row. I'm not going to work them in the cream color. Oh, you'll it'll be your be your beanie will be mosaic as well. Welcome in, Lulu Treasure Trove. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. This is gonna be a mosaic notion pouch cover. Um and then we're gonna work three singles. Now your singles are worked in the other color, and the reason for that is so you can make your your front loop bump there. So if you have any double crochets in the cream to work, guess what? You will work them in that front loop. Right there. That's why you work in the back loops on all single crochets. Now, they're worked in the opposite color, but your doubles will always be worked in the same color yarn that you're working in. Now, we're going to work two doubles. One single. And three doubles. One single, two doubles, three singles, two doubles, one single, three doubles. So we should be repeating this pattern six times, because three times, because we did, um, no, it's going to be six, three on one side and three on the other side. So we all together around, we have 72 stitches. So I just did those three doubles. Now I'm going to work one single. Two doubles, three singles, two doubles, 
one single, three doubles, one single, one double, one double, one, two, three singles, two doubles, one single, three doubles, one single, two doubles, three singles, two doubles, one single, three doubles, one single, two doubles, and two singles. Join with a slip stitch to that chain one and connect your other color. And pull your previous color tight and chain one. And now we're ready for row four. And that's what it, if you're with me, Jen and Ronell. <laughs> then this will be what it looks like. So now we're moving on to row four, which is another easy row. You'll start with a double crochet. Then you will do two, four, six, eight, nine singles. Then you'll work a double, single, double, then nine singles. So that'll be the repeat. So we're going to work one double crochet. Nine singles. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to work one double, one single, and one double. So see where those three front loops were right there? I utilized them to do my doubles in, but my single went into the top of that peach one. Probably because they're so big, Tank, you think? Now we're going to work nine singles. And we should be right here in this spot when we work our nine singles. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now... This is why you work your singles in the back loop of the offset color to get those front loops right there. So we're going to work a double, a single, and a double. And nine singles. And again, it should have put you back to your three spaces right there. Double, single, and double. Nine singles. One, two, three, eight, and nine. One double. Single 
and double. Now nine singles. Nine. One double. One single. And one double. Nine singles. One double. And one single. Join in that back loop of that chain one. Drop your color that you just finished with. Pull it tight. And join with a slip stitch. Chain one. And that's what that row should look like. It looks like this part here is a little bit wider than this part. That's only because of those double crochets. Once you get it on your bag, you really can't. You really don't even notice it. So. That's perfect. Peach and white is pretty together too. I just needed some light colors that y'all would be able to see on the camera tonight instead of dark colors. So, and then we're going to go to row five. Y'all ready for row five? So we're going to work three single crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Two doubles. One single. Two doubles. three singles one double three singles two doubles one single two doubles, three singles, one double, three singles, two doubles, one single, two doubles, Three singles, one double, three singles, two doubles, one double, one single, and two doubles, and three singles. One double, three singles, two doubles, one single, two doubles, three singles, one double. Three singles, two doubles, 
one single, two doubles, three singles, and we end with one double. Join with the slip stitch to the back loop of that chain one and join your other color. And then pull your previous color tight. Chain one. And then we'll be on row six. And that's what it should start to look like after row five. Row six is another easy one. You're going to start out with two singles, a double, five singles, double, and then it's five singles, double, five singles, double. But you're going to start with um, two singles. So let's do two single crochets in the back loop only. Do one double. Five singles. One double. Five singles. One double. Five singles. One double, five singles, one double, five singles, one double. Five singles, one double, five singles, one double, One double. After the five singles, y'all. Good night, Vanessa. Thank you for being here. Good night, Sunita. Oh, good night, Tank. <laughs> Sunita ain't going nowhere. Two, three, four, five. And then double. Then five singles. Then double. Five singles. Double. And we will end with three singles. And we're going to join with in that back loop of that chain one. And we're going to grab our next color and join with a slip stitch. Pull that previous color tight and chain one. And now that's what it should look like at the end of row six. See, before it looked like that, we just had that little bar now we are starting to form the, the the shape oh lulu i've done the same thing <laughs> right i was <laughs> i was sending sunita to bed it wasn't a iris <laughs> oh. so yeah
Thank you, Lulu. Hmm. I'm just stretching, y'all. It's 65 degrees here. All right. Row seven is going to be an easy one, too. We will start with one single crochet. We'll work one double crochet. Then we will do three singles and one double. And that will be what we do all the way around. Three singles and one double all the way around. Three singles and one double all the way around. Three singles, one double. 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 Just keep doing three singles and one double till you get toward the end. And you should end with two single crochets. Three singles, one double. Three singles, one double. three double and you should have two stitches left when you're at the end and you would put one single crochet in the back loop of the next two in that back loop of that chain one slip stitch with your other color pull your previous color tight and chain one now we're moving on to row eight we have four more rows to do, y'all. It was 78 here today, Lori. And I'm in Alabama. Oh, Miss Gloria is 63 in Chicago, and she's by the lakefront. Oh, Lulu, where are you? Are you in the midst of that bad weather? Mm. Yeah, I will be right back. I'm going to run grab me a piece of candy. Mm. Got me some candy and got me some a handful of almonds. <laughs> Y'all yeah, not having bad weather right now. Yeah, 
Yeah. I was sitting outside yesterday until one of my husband's friends came over and I came in the house. I was sitting outside crocheting. And my feet got a little bit darker. Raven, yeah, she behaved because she hadn't been in the chat. You need to send her them chunkles for real. I understand, Lori, and you can always come back and fast forward through to where you need to be. But I am doing a tutorial for these. Yeah, we're supposed to be getting the bad weather tomorrow. Mm. Lulu Tracy is North Alabama. I'm in Central Alabama. She's probably about. Mm -mm. You tell me, I love Loopy Tracy. She's on the West Coast. West Coast. <laughs> she's on the west side of Alabama she's probably I'm probably two and a half hours from her yeah she's um west of Tuscaloosa and I'm about an hour well it takes me about an hour and 15 minutes to get to Tuscaloosa but I'm about 90 miles from Tuscaloosa. And she's about an hour from Tuscaloosa. So. There you go, Raven. Make sure it look. Don't get magenta pink or hot pink or the pinks that she like. Get the pink that she don't like. Yeah, it's not too far. Okay. Moving on to the next row, row eight. We're going to start with a double crochet. And then we're going to do three singles, one double, one single, and one double, and then three singles, one double, one single, one double. And then we're going to do three doubles and three singles, one double, single, and double. Three singles, one double, one single, one double. Three singles, I did four, y'all. <laughs> After my three singles, one double, one single, one double. Then 
then three singles, double, single, double, three singles, and double, single, double, three singles, and then double, double, single, double, and then single three times, double, then single, 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 and double. Uh-uh, that ain't right, see? <laughs> it's going to be a double, single, du double, then single three times. One, two, three, double, single, double. One, two, three singles, double, single, double, three singles, double, and single. Go in that back loop of that chain one, drop that yarn. and slip stitch and pull tight and that's what it should be looking like after that row <laughs> v says yes um uh, good night miss margie pastel pink chocolate yep there you go raven Hey, Monique, welcome in. Yeah, Iris, either V, I mean, I'll be glad to help you too when, with the mosaic. I'm actually going to do a tutorial on this. Well, I'm, I'm doing the tutorial. I'm about halfway through with it. Thank you, Sis B. Chastity picked these colors out. We're getting to the easy rows now. Mama J, I haven't, but I have some caked up that I am going to try. I'm actually going to do one of these, these covers in it and see. And this is it. This is the Lime Brand 24-7, which is the Mercerized Cotton. And this is in, that's taupe. 
for those that wondering what 24 7 cotton is that may have never heard of it it's a medium weight number four but now i can tell you it's on the small side of a four i would have actually classified this as a three but in its chain spun and it's a hundred percent mercerized cotton and it's 186 yards per cake well these didn't come in a cake i caked them up they come in a skein it's 3.5 ounces 100 grams it's machine washable and dryable 186 yards 170 meters they recommend a four millimeter hook which is actually what i'm using made in mexico So I, I'm actually going to try it, do one of these bags, Mama J, in this, um, in the 24-7 um, cotton. For it to be mercerized, it's soft. It, it's got a little roughness to it, but it's not nothing unbearable. Raven, you talking about me really, really, Raven? Laugh out loud. I'm just joking. Yes, says Jeannie. Pastel pink chunkler for Sis B. That's right. Laugh out loud, Raven. Come to mama. Pink chunkler. Yeah, but it ain't going to be the pink you like. <laughs> yeah, Iris, we will help you with mosaic. Thank you, Lulu. Okay, Angel. Thank you, Monique. Good night, Lulu. You're welcome. <clears throat> Iris, the thing about mosaic grouse, not all of them are written the same. Some of them, some mosaic grouse are hard to understand. And I don't know how the mermaid scale is because I, I haven't, I don't think I've bought that pattern. But I can teach you how to read a mosaic graph. Mama J, I've had that 24-7 cotton for a long time. And I've not done anything with it. So, <clears throat> I take these two up and I'm going to do something with it. All right, y'all, I'm sorry. I had to eat them almonds. I don't have diabetes that I know of, but my sugar will drop, and I can feel it. Now I'm fixing to eat me some uh, Jolly Rancher, Cinnamon Jolly Rancher. I won't be crunching in y'all's ear now. <laughs> All right, moving on. The next row is an easy row, too. We're going to do three singles, one double, three singles, one double, three 
three singles one double this is the repeat all the way around three singles and one double all the way around Y'all hear my dog barking? Got to be an animal out there that ain't supposed to be out there. <laughs> so three singles and one double all the way around. And we will end with a double. Sometimes it can be a little hard to get up underneath that one. And that is because we're pulling everything tight at the ends. So back loop only. And join your next color. Pull that tight. And that's what it should look like at the end of row 10. Row nine, y'all. I'm sorry. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, row nine. Now we're moving on to row ten, and it's an easy one, too. It's going to be starting off with two singles. My phone going off, row nine, and probably three. <laughs> Oh, I bet that is. <gasps> Veronica, be nice. And then we're going to do one double. So we start off with two singles. Make sure I did my chain one. I'm bad about not doing that chain one, y'all chain one now i'm gonna work my single and single and then my double now it will be five singles one double five singles After five singles, you work a double. And continue to do that until you get to the end. Now 
Now we got one, two, three, four, five. Double. One, two, three, four, five. Double. One, two, and three singles at the end. That back loop of that chain one. And slip stitch with your next color. And then we'll be on row 11. I'm going to go ahead and get this done. And then let y'all know. Good night, Diane. Yeah, the blanket Kim made, Iris, is pretty. It's a beautiful blanket. I just, I don't know if I've bought, I've, look, I have so many mosaic patterns. I don't really know what I got. Okay, we're going to row 11, chain one. And we're going to work two doubles. three singles one double three singles two doubles one single two doubles three singles one double three singles two doubles one single two doubles three singles One double, three singles, one double, two doubles, one single, two doubles, three singles, one double. Three singles, two doubles, one single, two doubles, three singles, one double. Three singles, two doubles, one single, 
two doubles. Three singles. Seems like it's taking forever to get around on this row. Hey, because we only got one more left. <laughs> Three singles. Two doubles. And one single. Grab that back loop of that chain one. Drop that one. And pick up your next color. And everybody is working. Except for V and Raven and Iris. <laughs> so that's what it should look like. Now we're on the last row now. And it's easy. One, two, three, four singles. One double, one single, one double, then nine singles. And then that'll be the repeat. And we'll be done with the graph. So we're going to start out with chain one and four singles. One double, single and double then we're going to do nine singles one double single double nine singles Double, single, double, then nine singles, double, single, double, then nine singles. Double, single, double, nine singles, double, single, double. And then we're going to end with five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. Go in that back loop of that chain one. Drop that one and pick up your other color. Now, you can do one of two things here. Chain one. So the graph part is finished. That's your design. So the graph part is finished. Now, if you wanted to, you could stripe the top part with as many rows as you need to reach the um the the zipper of the pouch or you can simply put a stitch marker in here so it don't come out or you can simply um do all solid colors 
if you do solid colors you're going to use your stitch marker so there there it is in the pouch with the pouch the pouch inside of it so see and that is what it looks like and your join is to the side so you're not seeing it and see we did one two three four five six six repeats hey amy thank you veronica there's amy with that pretty husky on the on the picture so that's what it should look like at the end of the graph <clears throat> now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna work the rest of my rows in the peach i'm not going to stripe this one so once i finish the pattern here i did one two three four five six seven eight rows of single crochets now what i did up here at the top of this one though i didn't work in the back loop only i worked just regular single crochets but it does not matter on that last row how you do it because here i did them in the back loop which is what i will do from now on i um i did these in the back loop <laughs> this b said genie bella she already have a boyfriend <laughs> and i didn't do these in the back loop and i like the and it's just a personal preference of what you want to do i like this being in the back loop only too so but that one is not done in the back loop so but this one will be but I'm going to finish this all in peach. I'm not going to change over to cream no more. So, I am done with cream. I'm going to cut it. And I'm done with it. And I will sew, crochet over that tail as I go along with my peach now we're simply going to work one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch around and if you want to stripe then you continue doing just how we did to make the mosaic pattern you will join with a slip stitch changing your color you will chain one and you will keep going that way. I see Sunita says V, you right. Hercules probably can hear us. Hercules, Bella gonna have another boyfriend. <laughs> I'm doing this one in all solid peach up to the end because I want to see how it looks just doing it all in solid color compared to the stripe But if y'all want y'all stripe, y'all just keep changing at the end of every row. And joining just like you would if you were doing the mosaic.
Okay. If you're going to do solid color up to your zipper, when you get here, we're not going to join with a slip stitch. We're going to go into that very first single crochet that we did, and we're going to work a back loop single crochet. Put your stitch marker there and continue around. You could continue to join a uh, slip stitch into that back loop of that other one, of the chain one and stuff and do it the same way with just one color. But it's easier just to work in around when you're working with solid color. And I do so many rows and put my bag in and see where I am and what I need to do. And you, you still want to make sure to work in the back loop only though. Whether you're doing stripe, a stripe pattern or you're just doing a solid color. You still want to make sure to do them all in the back loop since we're working with mosaic. remove my stitch marker and just keep going put my stitch marker back Good night, Miss Deborah. Thank you for being here. Ronell, Jen, y'all still with me or y'all done tottered off the bed? Ms. Donna G. Remove my stitch marker and just keep on around. Uh oh, sorry about that. Shook y'all a little bit there. <laughs> Here, but way behind. It's okay, Miss Donna. Um, 
this will be uploaded not long after I get off, but um, I'll try to have the tutorial for this up on YouTube by Friday. So, but this will be row four. And after I do row four, I will put my notion pouch back in and see where I am and about how many more rows I would need to do. Now you could have did all solid colors at the bottom too until you got ready to start your pattern and then just did the the um like here you could have did from this cream color row right here all the way down in peach if you would have wanted to or you could have did all of this in cream and then started your stripe hey sarah welcome in um good night miss cj So, you can definitely take this and make it your own just by swapping up the stripe effect or, you know, whatever. Now, I got this mosaic graph off of Pinterest. Now, this is what... Um, I haven't seen, this is my doings on how to do this. Okay, Jen, good night. Just if you start doing a solid color, make sure you use a stitch marker so you don't get confused. Not confused, confused. We need one what? We need one thumb for a hundred. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so I'm at the end of row four of just singles. I'm going to put another stitch marker in there to hold it in place. Some things we do, stitch markers are our best friends, aren't they? Good night, Ms. VJ. Thank you for being here, though. So I'm going to slip my bag in. Make sure my corners are in my corners. So looking at this. I can get away with doing one more row. A single crochets around and then we'll attach it to the zipper tornadoes hit Austin and Elgin Texas just before dark they are in Tyler Texas this is live on the weather channel oh Austin 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 that's kind of south of Dallas mama Riz is north of Dallas mmm Oh, Lord, my husband going out that direction. He in Louisiana. Oh, Jesus. Keep them safe. The way I know you can. I 
I'm just working my last single crochet row, y'all. I'm still crocheting. Yes, prayers for all in the storm's path. We're supposed to get it tomorrow, Granny D. You know, I'm okay with bad weather during the day. I'm not okay with bad weather at night because I can't see a tornado in the nighttime. But I can see. I don't have my party time thing, Veronica. Woohoo! 100 thumbs, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Let's see. I can see a tornado during the daytime. I can't see one at night. A new, well-armored dinosaur species has been unearthed in the Yunnan province in southwestern China. It's covered in bone plates that have giant spikes all over them. So think of it like a giant... Tornado outbreak leaves damage across Texas. In Jax, Jacksboro, Texas. I'm not sure where that's at. What is going on? I can't afford streaming anymore, so. Sweet calves. State Farm has rates that fit your budget. They got a video of the storm hitting in Elgin, Texas. Mm. We just need to pray, pray, pray for them, y'all. I know Ronell is out in Texas. Elizabeth is out in Texas. Miguel is out in Texas. So, and then all the ones that are in Louisiana, Mississippi, coming this way. It's a coming, y'all. Okay, Crystal. Yeah, that's why I took a break while ago and did my arm rotations and moved my neck back and forth. Especially sitting in these office chairs and looking down, it'll definitely cause your neck to start hurting back there. All right. So that's my five rows. Jen sent me her picture that she was doing. <sighs> Look at Ronell. Y'all, she's fast. See? Mm. 
Mm, it was so pretty. Dark teal and magenta. I could have did that same color too because I got that same yarn. Y'all, look at our sexy, sexy, sexy Brenda. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We miss Brenda. I'm trying to get to Jen's picture she sent. Oh, yes, Jen. Looking. Oh, and look, you're doing it in March, Cole. <laughs> Another entry, right? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ronell says 99 thumbs. Somebody done took a thumb away from me. Whoever it was, you, you bet you you better you bet you better go out there and get a thumbs up again. I know earlier she said that um she came in and spoke iris and said that they was under bad weather and stuff tornado sirens and everything going off she was going she wasn't gonna be in the she was gonna be focused on the weather which i completely understand all right so that is it y'all see that that is it now what i'm gonna do while my bag is still in there and I ain't got to worry about putting it back in there. I'm going to remove my slip, my um, stitch markers. And I'm going to join with a slip stitch right there to the top of the first single crochet. Chain one. Cut. Secure it down. Go ahead and grab my darning needle. And weave that end in because we're fixing to attach it to the bag now. Jenny, just cut that raggedy end off. So I'm going to just turn it over on the inside. See how that little thing is humped up there? Come right up underneath that hump and pull down and it'll level your level your stitches out and then just weave this in whichever way you want to because once it's inside that bag I don't see it working loose and I'm going to cut that's enough <laughs> that's enough for me all right, now, what I'm fixing to do now is get my transparent yarn uh, thread, and I know y'all can't see that. Well, you can see the shininess of it right there, but it is transparent. What? I'm going to wind off a good bit of it. Let me try to get this wrapped around. Okay. Hold on just a second.
Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, but you got to the the fishing line is okay too if that's all you can get. But you got to get the smallest weight that they have. And then it's still going to be pokey when you tie it in a knot. This is what I have issues with because of my eyesight. But you thread your transparent tape through your sewing needle. Now, I don't do double. You can do double if you want to where you pull it all the way down to the end and you tie a knot in it and do double strands, but I don't. Now, what I do, <clears throat> it don't matter which side you start on. I'm going to start on this side. You, op you have your bag open. And you just want to go right in here in that fabric part of your zipper. You see that? And go in that single crochet, just like that and pull it through I have to feel this stuff in my hands y'all all right I'm gonna go back through this single crochet and right through that fabric I'm holding my transparent thread in my fingers so I don't lose it because once I get this pulled through Just like that. I'm going to lay this down like this. And I'm going to take the end that I held on to. And I'm fixing to tie this in a knot. Right here. Just like that. See, when you drop it, you have a hard time finding it. But it's good because you can't see it you can't see it on your your bag or your stitches on the front side because it's transparent it takes the color of whatever it is that you're putting it on oh wouldn't that be neat if they did have some transparent yarn Raven, I, I'm quite sure you can. Um, now, let me tell you. Michael's does have it too. But their spool is probably about this big here. Like this big. And it's $3 and some at Michael's. This was like $2 and something at Hobby Lobby. Um, this is 100% nylon. Yeah, $2.99. Um, I don't know how 400 yards and that is plenty for because what I just cut off on my needle which this is how much I have my bag is here and my hand is up here so that's how much this will be enough for me to sew the entire cover onto the bag plus my um if you want to put a little, you could put a little pretty brooch here. Or you, if you have a label with your information on it, you can sew it on there. Oh, Ronell, um, that is fine. If you know the answer to any question in the chat, please, please, please answer. And you just gonna continue to work back and forth from one single crochet to the next. Just make sure that you're going inside to outside, outside to inside, and you're not crossing over your zipper because if you cross over your zipper, you're gonna have a boo-boo and you're not <laughs> you won't be able to zip it. Well, you would with this, but you'll end up cutting it. 
and then when we get here to the corner I'll show you what we what we do here to the corner I wouldn't have had to go to Hobby Lobby and get this if I hadn't gave mine to V. I got another roll somewhere here. I just have not had any luck finding it. And I got all that stuff like that in those, um, what I call envelope boxes, the decorative boxes you can buy. My Dollar General put them on clearance and I bought a bunch of them. So I have them, have that stuff like that in them, but that is not in there and then i got to thinking well maybe <laughs> i didn't have two of those and i had two of the monofilaments because i do have two of the monofilaments so and i and i may have not had two rolls of the transparent but usually if i have to go to prattville or somewhere to buy something because prattville is 35 miles from where I am I usually buy multiples so I don't have to keep going back because I mean I don't go over there every day well walk is another place to get invisible thread huh oh, I've never heard of that store is that online uh, crystal okay when you get here to the corner you just going to go here in this one continue doing your your um stitches in your single crochets like this and then when you get here where your zipper is coming in at just kind of lay it flat like this move your zipper out of the way which way okay i need to go this way come back through this one and get right right beside that zip part and pull it tight and then I come back through this one next to it pull it tight then this one right here that's right on that zipper go in it but go at an angle on the other side and pull it tight and then come up through this one pull it tight and then go back through that other one again because that's where a lot of pulling and tugging is going to be on closing up your zipper and stuff so you want to make sure you got that extra secured and then come back through which way is my thread going now am i on the inside or am i outside can't even grab it okay i'm on the inside and then come back through and grab that one again right there so you're like putting double stitches in there and then continue working lord did i just cross over that no i didn't it's just that zipper caught it continue working this back and forth from one single to the next i guess this would be called like a mattress stitch Good night, Sunita. Thank you for hanging out. And you can do multiple at one time. I don't never do more than two.
but I know this is a lot better than doing the mosaic from the zipper down. I thought I had messed up y'all, but my yarn, my thread had gotten doubled on me. And when you get to the other end, other corner of your zipper, you want to do the same thing. That we did on the other end. Stitch more. Let me cut this light on. Maybe it'll help me to see. All right. So I'm here at this part. Now I'm going to fold it so I can see what I'm doing like this. I'm going to go in right there through that one at that angle. I'm going to come through this one on the opposite side. And I'm going to come back through this one on the opposite side. And then go back through this one. Just like that. And now we can just carry that size a little bit easier. And you don't have to worry about putting as much. And now we just carry on. Everybody's going to bed. We all need to be in the bed, don't we? So in through And we're back at the beginning. And I try to eye to see if that's the center. But I mean, it really doesn't matter. So that is connected to the bag. Let me, I'm going to bring this through so I can get it on the outside just to zip it up for y'all. Then you just zip it. And you're done. You, of course, will secure this by making a knot back there. Now, if you wanted to put your label on there or a label, now is when you would do so. And I had one in this cart. Mm. Oh, I got the card. Now I can show y'all where I got these from. All right. This is the company that did my labels. They're out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I said, um, California, the Beam City. They did an awesome job. 
So if you wanted to put your label on, this is where you would use the rest of your invisible, I call it invisible, <laughs> your transparent. And that's done got in a knot on my needle, y'all. Oh, well, it'll be okay. You would match it, try to get it. And it depends on what side you want the zipper to open on. If you want it to open on that side or this side, too. But we're going to open it on this side. And you just place your label in the middle, like so. Try to make sure that it looks as even as can be. And of course, we need to open up our zipper back. Now, because that's right there, I'm going to go right through that hole and go all the way through. Now, you can do these one of two ways. You can do them with just a little thing like that. Or you can work them back and forth like a stitch. Which is what I did on the last one that I did. And then I'll go back through this one. And then I'll come up. through this one I'll go back down through that one and you don't want to pull it real tight because if you do and if you got these labels they'll they will pucker with you because that look is soft it's like leather and cork and they weren't real expensive either y'all I'm cheap. Yeah, if y'all got to go to bed, I completely understand y'all. According to my computer, we still got 29 here. And just keep going around your label. doing your stitches and if you wanted to make a make something to put on your hook on your um, zipper pull you could or you could simply put a stitch marker on there if you got a nice stitch marker you could put a stitch marker on there use it as a um, button pull I do get a little bit old school I get tired of going in and out, in and out. I need a thimble. But when you're working like this, you can go down and over. I'm just luckily, luckily, I'm finding the hole. Yeah, so you want it to lay flat, so you don't want it too tight. If you pull it tight, it's going to pucker. Yeah, I'm going to back through there and come up through that hole and down through there and up through there now I will go down Oh, my night came out. <laughs> and I will bring this up here, though, since it's going at an angle. Ooh, I'm glad I caught that. I'm right. I was about to pull it out. <laughs> and still ended up pulling it out. You really have to feel for this stuff, y'all. Okay, got you. Back down through there. Now that's the only thing about doing a notion bag that has plastic, a plastic lining. 
uh, which you really want for makeup though is you gonna have holes in it from your needle and then we're gonna go through there we're gonna go through there and I lost it and I lost it I do have needle threaders y'all now now that you know the concept of doing these you can make these in about an hour and a half two hours max you can do them in less time than that if you don't have any interruptions and then I'm going to go through here. And then I'm going to come back down through that one. And that will complete it. And then I'm going to come back here. Lay my bag down. I'm planning on doing our Jubilee Festival next year. So I'm going to be making more of these. And I'm going to be selling them. So we're going to go. I, what I do is just go up through that cloth of that zipper. Like that. Run my needle through there a couple of times. Well. That obviously didn't work. Let me get it back on my needle. Go up between there. I'm going to get it this time because I'm putting my finger in it. Run that through there like that. And if you're having a hard time doing that, just take your, your loop and your end and make a knot. And then just trim it. But don't trim it real close. Because this is soft. It's not going to poke you. And we have completed. Our notion pouch. Well we hadn't completed a notion pouch. And that's crooked a little bit. <laughs> but hey it's handmade right? <laughs> Thank you, Ronell. Hey, Liz, welcome in. You, 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 girl, you late. Where you been, chick? <laughs> now I'm just joking with you. But yep, that is it. Now nothing to do but fill it up with goodies, huh? Yep. Hey, you might see one of these in that mystery yarn box for you and mystery yarn box for me giveaway. You might. So let me take you up to bird's eye view. And there you go. There you have it. And then you could take... Those that have received my butterfly stitch markers, you can take the big one, the holographic one, and use it as a pull. There you have it. I'm probably going to make, I, I ain't no probably, I'm going to make some more. Now, next Monday at 1 p.m., we will do a members only live at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you would have to be a 
member to join in on the live. But I will be live Monday night. That's the last Monday. We're just going to have a good time. We're just going to laugh. We're going to talk. We're going to dance. We're going to do everything. Even if I don't get a Super Chat or Super Sticker, we're going to play the music and we're going to dance, 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 dance. That's the last Monday of the month, so we got to have a wind down time, time, right? You love that stitch marker, Iris. Veronica's son, Alex, makes them for me because I can't see good enough to make them, even with my glasses on. So I have, if, if you get anything from me, you get a set of stitch markers, and this is what you get. You get three butterflies. You get a holographic butterfly and you get two little butterflies. Thank you, HD. Yes. HD, whatever I make with that yarn, I'm going to name it after you. <laughs> yep. Peaches and cream. Peach and cream. So peaches and cream. Yeah, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Raven. Monday. March the 28th at 1 p.m. Central. Um, and a dog bone. <laughs> hey, Frog Crochet. Welcome in. So let me end this one. Let me remove that one. And stop that camera. And then guess what? I'm back, y'all. Dreamy Boo, where you been? You did. You missed everything. You've been seat. Huh? You, Liz, y'all missed it all. Where y'all been? Huh? You welcome, Iris. So next Monday, we will do the members only live. And then Monday at 630, I'll be back live where we just going to have a good time. We're going to, we'll do another super chat, super sticker giveaway on that night. Because we did one last Monday on the 14th. So we'll do that. Oh, at the baseball field with the boys. Did they win? Did they win? Did they win, win, win? Says V must be the one to sleep. V, you go to bed. Oh, Iris, she was doing it. Oh, and yours matches mine. We're going to be twinsies with our, our notion pouch. Girl, you partied last night, so you was tired this afternoon. Mm. You partied with the best of them. For some reason, Sunita sent me two videos, but they're not opening up. Y'all, Brenda's so pretty. I miss my Brenda. I do, I do, I do. Yes. Yep. Oh, that's sweet, Iris. Yep, you can wait. Look, I'll try to finish the tutorial no later than Wednesday. But like I said, I got to try to get the slideshow finished. I got to do three more rows of this right here. 
and I got to do my be uh, scenic beauty mosaic for the month of March, the whole pattern, um, before Saturday. Because we have the Challengers Live Saturday, and we have this live, the Yarny Fiber Sisters Live Saturday. So, yeah. And I got to finish this one for the Challengers, and I got to finish the scenic beauty mosaic blanket for the yarny fiber sisters so and this is the havana now now iris this is a beautiful easy mosaic pattern right here um you just repeat it three to four times if you want it shorter and not as long, you repeat three times. If you want a longer blanket, then you repeat each pattern four times. Thank you, Frog. So all these are like teal colors, different shades of teals. All these are different shades of purple. And now I'm into the pinks. Hey, Melody M, you're new to my channel. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me give you the full blown out pom pom. Welcome, honey. Let me get them together. Welcome in, Melody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you are here. Let me know where you are from. Yep, it's fixing to be 11 in six minutes, and then I'm going to be jumping off because I've been live since 6.30. But let me show you what we made. Yeah, Havana. If someone, let me, I can do it. Exclamation mark, Havana. Uh, the link to that pattern should pop up in a minute. Um, Iris, this is what we made tonight from Arkansas. We made this pretty mosaic notion pouch cover tonight. Um, you would definitely be able to watch the replay if you wanted to, to make it. This has got a notion bag in it and we sewed it to the zipper. We crocheted the bag first. Then we um, put this plastic one on there. I don't want to mess my pretty butterfly up. We made the, the cover first and then we sewed it to the bag. And we're done. I just got to get me some cute little charms or something to put on the zipper pull. And, um,. Yeah, easy to make. But I'm doing a tutorial for this as well, and I'm going to try to have it done by Wednesday. Hopefully, it'll be uploaded by Friday. <laughs> I don't have good internet yet, y'all. Now, I'm telling y'all, when I get that fiber optic internet that's coming at the end of April or May, y'all going to get tired of seeing videos from me. Y'all will get tired, tired, tired of them. And Iris, if you need help with any mosaic, just let me or V know. We'll be glad to help you. Mosaic is easy. Because I got Happy Mail video recorded today. I got OVW's video recorded when I got her happy mail. I have Melody. I've been on since 6.30 Central Standard Time. Okay, I will, Raven. And then I can do the list and um, name it playlist number. Yeah. Because the other playlist will be ready to come, is getting ready to come out. All right, yes, yeah, Sandrine too. Sandrine is good with mosaic. We can, I can send you a link to StreamYard to where we're not live. 
and we can do it through StreamYard and everything else. So, oh no, ma'am, Miss Melody, it's not a record. Um, <laughs> my normal days, I used to go live on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I have been on till three or four o'clock in the morning. So now this is actually is not a record. <laughs> if you go back and look at some of my lives, they're seven, eight hours long. When you got good company and you got people on the panel and we're having a good time, we're talking about crochet. We're learning from each other. We're bouncing ideas off each other. Time gets by. That, that's why I was saying earlier, when you got, like, I, this is Dollar Tree yarn that I used on all of mine. I've made that one. Get back over there. I made this one. This is in purple and bright turquoise. I made this one. And all three of these are done using... Dollar Tree yarn and Dollar Tree notion bags. Well, we call them notion bags, but you know. And these are the bags that I used. I don't have any pink ones left, but because they're these two are done in the pink. And this one's done in the gray. So I have one gray and beige one left. I'm in Alabama, Melanie. This one is black. And this one is black. So all of these are Dollar Tree bags. But like I was telling them in the beginning, uh, Sandrine's from Alabama too. I'm originally, I was born and raised in Louisiana. I moved to Alabama when I was 24. I've been here I moved to Alabama in 97 so in December this year be 25 years but like I told them earlier if you don't want to buy the Dollar Tree bags now these are cloth on the outside the inside is plastic which will make good makeup bags because you want plastic on the inside to be able to clean, you know, the makeup and stuff out of. Um, you can get the canvas, the thicker canvas totes, notions. Um, but these are $1.29. So for four cents more, you can get a bigger canvas tote notion pouch from hobby lobby compared to a dollar 25 at dollar tree unless you don't live close to a hobby lobby and if dollar tree is more convenient then with the gas prices as high as they are dollar tree <laughs> but i will try to have this tutorial uploaded by on friday that way you won't have to go back and watch the let me close my little privacy thing on this camera here so if somebody come in and hack it they will just see um black <laughs> oh frog that is nice yeah i was born and raised in louisiana and moved here in 90 december of 97 Actually, I didn't move here in ninety in December ninety seven. I came here on vacation, and I've been here ever since. My husband's from Alabama. Yeah. So, Iris, if you don't see them down the shelf, check up front. You know where they have all that stuff just packed in them little shelves at front where you, when you get ready to go to the register. The end, what I call the end caps at the registers. Check up there because that's where all these were. You can actually look. Let me show y'all something. 
You can use any bag. It don't matter. I'm going to show you what matters. And I just threw some yarn in the garbage, y'all. Good thing wasn't nothing in there. It was a clean bag, huh? You can actually use bags like this. As long as you have enough cloth at the zipper part here to sew your cover to, you can use bags like this. It does not matter. Now, this, this is plastic on the outside and cloth on the inside. So, it's just the opposite. So, um, that's what you look for. How much of the zipper fabric do you have at the top of your bag? Okay, thank you, Iris, for letting me know. I was going to messenger to see. Make sure they were okay. I used transparent thread to sew the um, bag to the zipper and um, if you don't have transparent thread or you can't find it you can get monofilament illusion cord but if you do the knots to secure it it can be a little you can feel it so I don't I don't really care for that too much You have to send your super magenta V money to go to the dollar store and get me some cotton yarn. Raven, what kind of cotton, what colors are you looking for? Lord, I went to Hobby Lobby today. Went back there matching up me some cotton to make those mandalas that Ursula did the new tutorial for, the new pattern for. And I got one in here somewhere. I promise you, I don't know where it's at. I was going to show y'all. Actually, it might, I might have already put it in my room. But I'm doing it in the Hobby Lobby cotton. And I was in there just matching up me some color, five colors. And I remember what I had here. And I thought about colors that I needed to go with it. I look up. It ain't even up 30% off this week. <laughs> Y'all want me to show you what I got right quick? Let me go get it. Okay, I'm going to show y'all the yarn that I got. It does. I wouldn't, I didn't buy any yarn from Hobby Lobby because of not being on sale. This is the yarn that HD has sent to me. She won on, she won Dina's Homespun Fun giveaway. And because she's not in the U.S., she told Dina to send me her winnings. And the only thing she wanted out of it was the hook. Which was fine by me. And I'm going to send her the hook. But this is the yarn that I got. I got one of this. This is called Desert Sand. It's a bulky six. It's 223 yards. 12 ounces. 340 grams. 
and it is 100% recycled polyester. I got one in that color. I got two in rose sepia. And I got two in spruce, which is a green. And those do look real good together. So whatever I bake with, it's going to be named after HD. I appreciate her doing that. I really, really do. Don't you fall. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to Michael's. I went to Ollie's, but they didn't have nothing different in there, and I didn't get nothing out of Ollie's. And then I went walked down the sidewalk to Dollar Tree. I got this from Michael's um, to make those bags with the the bags that I've been making. These bags. I want to see how they turn out using this. And I got the cotton funnel cake. It's 100% cotton. This is golden rays. It's a medium four and you get 425 yards or 250 grams. So I got that and I got this one to go with it. So I'm going to do the, the handles and stuff in this color. The, bag, the body of the bag in this. Then I'll reverse it. Um, I should be able to get two bags out of each, out of those two. We'll see. And then V told me that they had their hook, some of their hooks on sale for half off. So, some of, some of these will be in giveaways. I got four of each set. They were $2.50 a piece. This is 8, 9, 10, and 11 and a half. Now, these are good hooks, y'all. They're resin. A lot of people call them plastic, but it's resin. But they're good hooks. And I also got it in 4, 5, 5 and a half, and 6. So, I got four of the bigger hook sets and four of the smaller hook sets and you get four hooks in each each pack so that came from michael now hobby lobby and this is just chastity's bag oh i got those stitch markers that i showed earlier that look like this Uh, pretty much got I got my transparent tape uh, thread got two of those um what says V don't say you threw with your Havana and Chastity went to her Dollar Tree we was pretty much on the, I was back and forth on the phone with her and V and Chastity is my daughter she does the cricket work for me. She's the one who does our yarny fiber sister shirts and everything else. So she went to her Dollar Tree and she said, look, they got vinyl for crickets. I said, I know. She said, well, you ain't told me. They didn't have this at her Dollar Tree, which is gingham. So I got her some gingham. I got her two boxes of it. This box is all chassis this bag michael's had not michael's hobby lobby had their it's the paper studio brand which she's used before and it's really good uh vinyl for crickets they had it for 424 and 374 regular 16.99 and 14.99 the 14.99 ones was 374 and the 16s was 424 so I got her four rolls of that that they had. This is uh, pink. They say pink, but that's like a magenta pink. Then they had the 
shimmer iron on pastel polka dots it's pastel polka dots and it's all glittery y'all and y'all know we like the bling right you use the susan bates in your blanket and you love it the the resin ones the, the plastic the the ones that i just showed v Oh, Lord, how much she's done with her Challenger blanket. And this one is purple floral. Pretty. And this one is called tribal. It's like stripes of like teals and pinks. And I don't know what other colors is underneath there. But so I got her those. Then she also does labels with the cricket and then put some on like chalkboard labels they had these for 99 cents so i got her three packs of those and you put these on like jars and stuff then i got her these these were a dollar 49 because she can also take her cricket and put a saying on these So, they only had two, so I got her those. Then she's doing resin keychains, and they had this on clearance for a dollar twenty-four, and it's flamingos. So she can use this with the resin to make keychains with. You go to bed, Sizzy. <laughs> so that was chastity's bag of goodies that i got her from hobby lobby and dollar tree and she actually has a couple of clients that order that do the same thing with their labels and put some on jars and sell them as sets and stuff and they get their labels their vinyl from her she does all the lab the vinyl labels of whatever they want, and then she sends them to them, to them. And I got this from Hobby Lobby um, sticker book because I I do have a journal that I do. It was regular seventeen ninety nine. They had it marked down to four forty nine. My Dollar Tree. And Prattville had these pin cushions that fit on your wrist. So I got a couple of those. I said those would be good for giveaway. They didn't have any butterfly clothes pins, but they had the llama ones that V showed. And they had the wood clips. I mean the the cactus clothes pins you can use these for bookmarks and stuff so i got four of each one of those and i got two of each color of those pin cushions then they had these little rinky dink bags where's, where's the one i had it it's got something it's got stuff in it oh hanging up on the door hold on so this got some stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby and it. I seen this down at the thing and it says count collection. Let's make memories. Ombre tote bag. And I'm like, this looks like the bags that I'm making. So, when I got out to the car, Curiosity took over, and I opened one of them. And that's what they look like. I mean, they're cute bags, and I like the ombre effect that they have. But, and then I got four of these from Dollar Tree. And all of them say the same thing good vibes now this is the size of the bag from here to here 
they do have handles that are tucked on the inside but this is the bag size y'all it's not any bigger than that so um and all this is for giveaways the only thing i bought myself was the stickers this pack of stickers and some the other stuff that i'm finna show and i'm probably going to keep one pack of these and the cactus and the llamas for myself because i do use my stitch books but everything else is for giveaways and i should have bought five of these because i want one <laughs> but i didn't so i'll have to get one when i go back if they have them and these are the stitch markers, Liz, that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were half off. Jeannie, please read my comment. Okay, hold on. <coughs> You're fine. Can you read my comment, please? Jeannie, did you ever do the tutorial of the bag with a chameleon yarn and another type of yarn since Dream 1? And she had you send it to me. I have it, Iris, but I, well, let me put it to you like this. I did it and messed around and deleted the tutorial. So I have to redo it, but I'm going to redo it. <coughs> Y'all just give me a little bit of time. <laughs> just a little time. But yes, I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll look in a minute, V. Hold on. So I bought some of these stamps. This is one that I bought at Michael's in Montgomery. They had them on clearance. Of course, it's a butterfly. So that one I already had. I got a llama one. Regular ten ninety nine, and they had it marked down to two seventy four. And no, V's not getting that. That's for me. She's already got one. And then they had this one, um, marked down to a dollar thirty seven. It says "so very thankful." And the sticker is covering up part of the front, but it says "so very thankful." And That'll be good to stamp on thank you cards and stuff like that. Then I got the <laughs> Then I found some butterfly cutters for clay, for the polymer clay. And I made sure to show V these so she can start doing butterfly earrings that look like butterflies and not dog bones. <laughs> okay. Then they had this one now when i was at michael's in montgomery i was on the phone with v and when i showed her this one and this one was 249 let me show y'all before i peel the sticker off regular 9.99 they only had one and she said <laughs> look at her saying i'm done with you sis Hey, I'm not the one who said they look like bones. When they, you first showed them to me, I told you they were butterflies now. She said, you better get that for me. <laughs> I was actually going to get it for myself, but she said I better. So I had to get it for her. But it comes with two llamas, um, a stamp that says no problem, llama, a cactus, llama love, and then the, um, I can't never think of the name of that. The garland. So I got me one today. <laughs> and they had another thing of ink for 99 cents that you can use with uh, these stamps. So, and I got the llama stuff because if we see, if I send stuff that's from both V and I, then your thank you card will have a butterfly and a llama on it. So, and I had got some um, 
more of the ink from the Michaels in Montgomery for 99 cents. So I always look. I went down every aisle in Hobby Lobby today looking for orange stickers. And um, I got some other stuff in one of these notion pouches here too that I got. I didn't open that, that though. <clears throat> I picked up these two. I picked up two packs of these because I said that would be good to put on the, the mosaic notion bags that we're making. And um, they're going to be, you could put them on there and you could crochet a handle to go through the key ring part of it and use it on your wrist. So I really like those. And then I got two packs of these stitch markers. So um, let me get this other bag and show y'all the other stuff. I did a video about all this too. <clears throat> they had, and I did not know that they sold stuff like this. These come two in a pack for 47 cents highlighters. You got two of these big velocity, big velocity ink pens for 99 cents. And they had two red pens in for 27 cents. So I got some of those. Um, had to get red so when I go in a negative, I can know. <laughs> I'm just joking about that. Um, but no, for 27 cents, I wasn't leaving them. And they only had one pack. So, But that's what I got today. Yep, that is it. I think. Yes, that is all. I looked at Hobby Lobby to see did they have any more of the magnetic boards for Mosaic. They did not. I guess those things are a big seller. So those are your butterflies, V. I'm sending them to you. So people can stop talking about your dog bone earrings. You know, I don't do I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> Dang, sis, like you can't and said, I'm done with you. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Lay your V. Those butterflies are yours. That's why I had to go back there and get the stuff because I had put your stuff in the box, in your box and everything else. Not in your box, in your bag. I got to get a box big enough to send it to you. <clears throat> Leah says, now I got to tell my husband you are sending me shopping again, LOL. But yeah, when my Michaels and Prattville didn't have um that wood stuff on sale, Hobby Lobby did. Yeah, and ours, when you go to Walmart, check there if they if you have that Ogo yarn. The one that looks like it's on a donut. Scan it and see what the price of it is. Because Nancy from Nancy's Hooked on Crochet. Just bought a bunch of more for 50 cents. Raven said, I ain't even got my check yet. And it's all gone to my Super Magenta V. Now let me show y'all what V been working on. Let me get to the right Instagram account. She have been working now. Look at the llama. The llama llama. The uh, no-go yarn I heard is awful. It's not bad, Raven. It depends on what you get now. You have to be careful. Good Lord, have mercy, V. Look at this, y'all. This woman has been working. I don't see no butterflies in there. Look at all those earrings, y'all.
Wow. I want a llama pair. I see she added some gray or brown to the black and white, so I guess people wouldn't say moo. Nope, nope. I'm not getting no I'm not getting no llama pair. Or nope, nope, it ain't no butterflies. You're gonna have some butterflies whenever I send you that package. Yeah, V been busy. Iris, your um mermaid scale blanket is coming out good. Mosaic is not hard. You just have to concentrate on it more than you do any other crochet. Do y'all see what Raven said? Says Jeannie, you need the cow ones because you moo. Raven, this for you. <laughs> yeah, Sis V has been working hard. Right, Iris. That's the same thing because look. Okay, I've done that. I have to sit here and figure out the do's and the don'ts about what we're going to do for craft hour for the butterfly craft along. So I normally do that on Sundays now. And I post to the community tab of what y'all going to need and stuff like that. Last night... I made, um, I watch, I've been watching the spring YouTube yarn hop thing that's going on. And I saw the beret hat that Love and Every Stitch by Ruby Baby made. And she let me know where I could get the information for it from, which was from Kim the Crafty Nomad. So she had the link in her video. I clicked on it. I went over there and I love beret hats. Kim used a chunky five, so I made one. I did, I did, I did. And nobody better not say nothing about who I look like either, or I'm going to block y'all. <laughs> I love beret hats. So Chastity seen this, and she wants me to make her one in brown because she said it would be good with um, braids and stuff. So... I made this last night. It took me probably 30 minutes to 45 minutes to make this. Mm. <laughs> Veronica said, okay, so I'm blocking now. <laughs> you better not, Veronica. <laughs> Because I don't look nothing like that. But yeah, I'm going to do a little modification to it. Hmm. Let me give you my good side, Ray. <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. Let me put my glasses on. Let me try to get them on over my actual glasses. Here you go, Raven. There you go, darling. I look like a pretty butterfly, don't I? Mm-hmm. There you go. Bam. <laughs> but I'm going to modify it and make it in cotton. And instead of doing all solid rows of double crochet, I'm going to have some mesh stitches in there somewhere. Um, Because that would be good to wear to the beach. This ain't nobody texting me but Veronica telling me who I look like. Oh, no, she sent me pictures. Thank you, sis. Be gone. Put it on Instagram. I know you want to. 
<laughs> yeah, but I like a beret hat. And Chastity, because I'm making stuff up for our Jubilee for next year. I'm trying to get ahead of the game. She told me to make some of these up and get that little round button and put it right in the center. I said, well, I wish you'd have told me that earlier because Hobby Lobby had a bunch of them buttons that she's talking about um, on clearance. So then when I fold it up, I said it looked like a bulb. <laughs> Looks like a bulb. But yeah, I've been busy too. Veronica been busy making earrings and hooks and I've been busy doing hooks, uh, not doing hooks. I've done some hooks. I need to bake them. But I've been busy putting the, the glaze on them so I can get ready to send some of those out. Um, And this is what they look like. See, Veronica don't just do hooks either, y'all. So, You still hear Dark Sky? Yeah, I look good in a beret. That's why I wanted to make it. And then I'm gonna make it in a in a four weight cotton yarn. There go Raven sending me them them screenshots. <laughs> I love y'all. Raven sent me a whole book of them. That was done in Premier Serenity Tweed yarn. That was. See the tweeds in it? Blues and yellows. And greens look like I see a little pink in there too, just all kind of colors. You did, Raven. You sent me a bunch of them. That's okay, uh, Dark Sky. My next one I do for for a pouch cover. I'm gonna do in this twenty four seven to see how it works up. Yeah. Oh, let me put this stuff back in here. Oh, this is not mine. Yeah, so. Yeah, you could do a zipper and put it at the top, too. I actually bought two zippers today when I went to Hobby Lobby. So I can show y'all how that's done, too, if you don't know how. I just bought a 7-inch zipper. How you can put, if you don't have a pouch, you can make still make it and just put your zipper in there. Yes, ma'am, I thought about that, too, today. So I bought a purple one and a blue one. They both look blue, don't they? <laughs> this one's purple and this one's blue. Uh, Hobby Lobby. I haven't seen any zippers at Dollar Tree. No, I've just been talking for the past 45 minutes, Tiffany. <laughs> but we did finish it. We did finish it, Tiffany. I like this one. Yeah. And I think the next one I'm going to do all solid up until time for me to do my stripes for me to start the pattern. You didn't choose your colors wisely. What colors did you choose? <clears throat> About like me that time I was doing the trying to do the mosaic and I chose um Oh, I can still see it, though. 
but the the tweed yarn has black in it too right yeah that looks good though you got it <clears throat> what i'm actually thinking about doing is crocheting some of these up since they it literally hour and a half two hours top you're done with this if you can be consistent with it you're done with it <clears throat> um i'm seriously thinking about crocheting some of these up filling them up with goodies and sending them to my members would y'all like that yeah that's pretty dark sky Sabrina, I'm, a, I'm doing a tutorial. I'm about halfway through it. I just got to finish it. I'm going to try to have it finished and uploaded on by Friday. That way you don't have to fast forward through the replay or hear all of the... the, the Boho say, yes, I would. That, they are twins. Look, that's fine, Iris. We, we're, we're twinning. We twins with the bags. Yeah. You know, I could put y'all a hook in there. I could put y'all a set of stitch markers in there. I could put some other little goodies in there. Yeah, dark skies is pretty. I like, I actually like those colors. Raven done sent me six photos. <laughs> <laughs> well my kids can't say they don't have nothing to put on my obituary when i die can they <laughs> just take your pick <laughs> that's okay because i can do these as giveaways too i just be sitting here thinking of all kind of things we can do V be thinking, I be thinking. <laughs> I'm sitting here now trying to think what we're going to do for the first Monday in April. I don't know yet. Which will be April the 4th. Because last Monday and this month, we just going to have a chill night. We just going, I'm going to let people up on the panel. Um, We're going to just talk about crochet, all that stuff. And we just going to have a good time. When my internet gets, when we get that fiber optic internet, I'm going to be releasing a lot more just videos. Because I would love to be able to just show y'all. The stuff that I've made since January, I would like to do a whip, uh, a work it, a uh, whip it good Wednesdays, is what I would call mine. Show y'all the progress on my mosaics at that point and stuff like that, and then see where I'm at the following Wednesday on them. Some of them gonna probably still be the same. <laughs> Show y'all the stuff that I've made, a spring thingy. <laughs> yep. Raven said, oh, they can message me on Messenger. She has so many of them screenshots. <laughs> oh, that's fine, too. I'll, I'll tell them. Look, if, if something happens to me and y'all need some pictures, just find Love Praying Crochet on with Raven on Facebook. HD, <clears throat> some of this stuff I'm making up for the Jubilee for next year. But, I mean, if anybody wants to buy anything, like my husband always says, anything we got is for sale except for his big trucks. I promise you I have not. I do not. I do not. <laughs> um, 
in the house. But he said everything else has a price tag on it, including me. So, I mean, if somebody wanted to buy something, yeah, I mean, I would, you know. I'll probably tell you, yeah, I'll sell it to you and then tell you when you text me about it, tell you, you don't have to worry about paying me. I'll just send it to you. I mean, that's just who I am. But, yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying. I, I got disgusted <clears throat> with my hooks because I put coat a coat of stuff on them and it made them sticky. So I'm having to hand sand all those down to get that part off. Then I'm having to recoat them again. And I'm having to put three coats of that stuff on them. So I have to put a coat, let it dry, go back, put another coat, let it dry, and so forth. And that's with 80-something hooks. <laughs> v said, dang, you too. Okay, I take you. Tell your husband you ready. Sell to me. Laugh out loud. I love you, my sis. I love you too, V. Ivy, check all the stuff you have won from Jeannie. LOL. Oh, Ivy got a package coming to her. This, the time that I put into it for, well, I, I'm going to put it like this. Depends on who you are. It would be anywhere from 10 to $20. I mean, this costs literally, and I, I know the cost is not, is not the cost that you really look at, but I do. <clears throat> This is the difference between me and a lot of people. I don't look at crochet as a job. Because what I get off of YouTube, unless I have to go to the doctor or something, everything I get from YouTube goes right back into this channel through y'all. Um... But... This literally cost $2.25 to make. So, even though it's handmade, it's crocheted, it only takes, I can literally make one of these in an hour and a half from start to finish. As long, excuse me, as long as I'm not interrupted. So, I look at it like this. If you set your price right, you'll sell more. Right. Cost and the time you put in it, like how much would you think the cost would be like for a fair? If, now, if, if I take these to the Jubilee, knowing how deep those pockets are at the Jubilee and the prices that I've seen at the Jubilee, oh, I'd probably sell these for $20, maybe 30 <laughs> Depending on the size of them. Size like this, it'd be $10, $15. Yeah. Um, I do often time myself when I'm crocheting things to see how long it does take me to make it. So, yeah. But, um, I actually like these better than the other ones that we were making. The ones with the little flap with the buttons and stuff. I like these better. So. Um, yeah, no more than $15. Because literally, the yarn come from Dollar Tree. And I say $2.25, even though I used two skeins, I didn't use all of it. So about half and half, so 50 cents worth of yarn from each skein a dollar and the bag came from dollar tree a dollar 25 now if i'm selling stuff like this i probably wouldn't do dollar tree bags unless they were better bags i would definitely get the canvas bags from hobby lobby again it'll take a little more yarn so these these this size would be 15 to 20.
so that's this uh hd iris if you get the join down you good if you this this was my first thing doing to teach people how to do mosaic in the round and i did it because Lori armstrong wanted to learn how to do mosaic in the round and that's another thing if you put in the chat something that you would like us to do whether it's me by myself on mondays or it's me and veronica on saturdays if y'all let us know what y'all want to see what y'all want us to do or anything like that we do it um sabrina this is actually a little sachet bag that you can use in your closets you can put them in your cars a video crochet on a zipper <clears throat> I don't do like the tutorials that's out there. I don't start at the zipper and go down. I do just like I did here. And then I attach my zipper at the top. Just like I do here. You just don't have the bag. This has downy scent boosters in it. Sabrina. You get these little organza bags. You can get them from Dollar Tree. You can order a bunch of them off of Amazon for cheap. Um, Crochet this little sachet bag, I call it. Pop them inside there. You can put your string in there. Close it up or you can leave it open. And you got a little set of fragrance bag. Did you attach that beige pouch with zipper to a mosaic you made? All these are bags on the inside, Sabrina. See the bag on the inside? We crocheted the cover and then we attached it to the to the pouch. Actually, we did this one. This one is the gray pouch on the inside. What's inside this is this. Yeah, Iris, that's the downy the little downy pebbles you put in the washer. Right here. And inside these two is the same bag. It was just pink and beige. Inside this bag. But you can do the cover and attach the zipper to the top of it. You just wouldn't have anything in there lining it unless you lined it with some material like a fat quarter and cut it and this one has the pink and beige one inside of it and we attached it to the top so I've made three since uh, yesterday I made this one first to get all of my specs, how many chains, what size hook to use, and everything else. Then I made this one. Then we did this one tonight. So I've done three. Yeah. And you can do any size bag. This is this is one. This is not my design. This is Day's Crochet. Dana with Day's Crochet Design. 
that's why it's got the wood ring on there because you know she does a lot of boho style stuff and it look y'all think i ain't been busy er? these are all ball bands skin ball whatever you want to call them bands that I've used since January. I'm keeping up with them. Inside this bag. And this is acrylic. So it does not have to be cotton. And I've had this bag for. Almost two years now. So. And I just put 100% made with love at the top. So, and that's not all my ball bands. I'm keeping some of my mosaic ball bands with my mosaic. And this is done with acrylic. And this is, all of these are done with Dollar Tree yarn. Sabrina is Wilmington around 40 minutes away from Whittier. It says, BC, yes, that's why you're not finished with your blanket. That and the husband. Yep. Well, y'all, I hate to leave good company. It's fixing to be 12 o'clock. And I done got hungry. Last time I had anything neat was at one something, a little after one o'clock. Them videos, Sunita sense not playing for me. <laughs> Leah said, Iris, I'm close, just a phone call away. You want to find a close aid? Yeah, I wish there was people close to me that crochet. Well, it's people that crochets in my area, but my neighbor right down the road she crochets but she's not interested in doing anything like that she don't crochet like i do and put it to you like that i would love to have a crochet buddy all right i enjoyed you too ivy even though you was busy busy crocheting yeah ivy look if I didn't want y'all to know how to make these things and utilize them to your advantage, I wouldn't show y'all what to do. <laughs> y'all, please make these. If you can sell them, sell them. If you give them away, give them away. Do whatever you want to. I just, when I come up with something, I want to share it with y'all. We can FaceTime and crochet together. We could all do a Zoom. I know. Liz is in Illinois, Iowa. Uh, Illinois, Iris. Now it's time y'all go to bed. <laughs> Chandra, where are you? Oh, dark sky, yours is still pretty. That's like me that time I was trying to do the mosaic on, on the live and I had to switch yarn in the middle because I couldn't see it. I chose a variegated with a, with a solid color that was in the variegated. Yeah. 33-hour drive. It'll take us ooh, days to get to California. It takes almost two days to get across Texas.
Oh, you're in Macon, Georgia. You're not too far from Sisby. Let's see. Let's see how far you are. It's a lot of people in Georgia that crochet. A hundred and you two hours from V. Ira said, V, don't send us to bed or you are going to get the chocolate. Yeah, um, Tiffany, Hobby Lobby, the bags that I did these with tonight are these. They come from Dollar Tree, $1.25. It's not a Dollar Tree no more. This bag I got from Hobby Lobby today, it was $1.29. So it's bigger, it's thicker. It's just plain canvas, and that's the size difference, what you see right here. So, and the only thing that you would need to do, still do your 37 chains, but use a 5 millimeter hook with a four-weight yarn. It's, and if you use the Dollar Tree yarn, that's what I, um, that's what I based it off of. Like I heard something hit my window. One of my windows. Hey Adele, I kind of figured you was lurking, honey. Your husband has family near Macon. I'm I'm just three hours from Atlanta, Georgia. That's just like Sandrine and I are close. Um, I'm an hour and 15 minutes from Sandrine, but trying to get together to crochet is like finding a needle in a haystack because we all have lives. I've even tried to research to see if we have any crochet groups. Yeah, it would be nice to have a crochet buddy because... Like, you know, me, I'm pretty much here by myself, too. Well, I got me and my um 12-gauge pump shotgun, so I'm not alone. Yes, Tiffany, Dollar Tree bag would be a size 4 hook, and Hobby Lobby bag would use a size 5 hook. That's And I tested it using Dollar Tree yarn. I know our my town is just boring. I guess if it was a bunch of well, I ain't even gonna say that though. If it was a bunch of people that did other things and crochet too, we'd probably have a crochet group. <laughs> I'll just say that. Hubby's family is two hours from Atlanta and Augusta. Yeah, these V's not too far from Augusta either. V is three and a half hours from me. Yeah, Sabrina, that's that. They don't work, but they party and do crime. Yeah, V's in Adairsville, Georgia. She's up close to Rome and, um, Is it Cartersville, V? Amazon bag, seven inches. Hold on, Raven. Hold your horses. Pull back on your rain there a little bit, sister. Cartersville, yeah.
Uh, Raven, if you want to do the 36 and the 7, because this Dollar Tree bag is right at 8 inches. You might want to go down to a 3.5 hook and try it. Uh-uh, they wouldn't, uh-uh, I wouldn't share my yarn. You'd have to bring your own yarn now. All thing I need you to do is bring the project you're working on with your yarn. <laughs> and you come sit on the porch with me or we go meet up somewhere and we sit there and we crochet on our project with our yarn, our hooks, and we talk and chit-chat. Ain't no sharing a yarn now. <laughs> I ain't no baby them cats out there on that porch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know ours. My the my grandmother taught me she's been dead. Since two thousand and five, and my other grandmother crocheted, but I didn't really learn anything from her because I didn't get to spend a lot of time with her growing up. And she passed in two thousand thirteen, and my mom passed in two thousand thirteen, and my mom crocheted too, but she only crocheted with crochet thread, and she didn't do it all the time. Now, my grandmother that taught me, she crocheted every day. It wasn't a day going to go by that she didn't crochet. <laughs> I said, porch, can't we go inside your room and admire all your beautiful yarn? Of course you can. I'll have it all in locks. <laughs> I'll have it all locked up. No, I'm just joking. Of course you could, Iris. Raven, you are not new, honey. You not new at all. I'll have chains ran through every skin with a lock on the end of it. <laughs> I'm just joking, Iris. I am just joking. I did ask my husband one day what would he do with all this yarn and something... If all of a sudden something happened to me, he said, put it in a bag and take it all to Goodwill. Chastity and them wouldn't let him do that because Chastity can crochet too. I check your Dollar Tree when you go tomorrow because they did have chameleon yarn at Dollar Tree. Yes, you are a new member, Raven. I mentioned that at the very beginning of my live, darling. I got your name and the other ladies that joined my membership tonight. I have them written down right here, and y'all going to go in the bucket. That's Christina, Miss Margie Gibbs, and Raven. I got y'all wrote down. Now I got to do those ladies a command. Yes, see, but don't touch. <laughs> yeah, my Chastity and Sarah would not let him throw any of this stuff away. He would not. Nope, nope, nope. 105 thumbs up, sis. Woohoo, it'll go up after the live. Now tell him to message me. I'll help him out, sis Jeannie. I sure will. The only thing you got to do is get my phone and see who I be texting back and forth. Yeah, i tell you, now he don't call nobody but Veronica. <laughs> he going to call Veronica. Look, Dark Sky told him. Because he said, when, I, when I'm back here and I do a whole lot of crocheting, I will wake up the next day with a headache and stopped up and stuff like that. He said, it's a shame your yarn is killing you. 
I said, well, one thing for sure. When I die, make sure that the doctor puts on my death certificate. Cause of death. Yarn and crochet. And when you get me in the casket, I want a skein of yarn in, in my lap, laying on my legs. And I want something that I'm working on in my hook, in my other hand, in my hands. And that's how I want to be buried. Yep. I just have a son, so he wouldn't care if my husband would throw it away. Well, he could crochet if he wanted to. He did learn how. And he still, he wouldn't, wouldn't, even the kids of mine that don't crochet wouldn't, wouldn't dare let him throw this stuff away. Sabrina said, Iris, you live in Whittier. One day when I get a car, we can meet up sometime. There you go. That would be nice. You know, I do. I wish I had someone real close that I could meet up with at least one weekend a month, you know, Get something to eat and maybe go a little shopping. No, we ain't got to go shopping. Just sit and talk and crochet, you know. You stayed up till 4 o'clock last night. That's why in the world you finished with your blankets. This old guy here got to get her beauty rest or I won't be getting on camera no more. Good morning, everyone. Have a wonderful night and sleep. Oh, V, the party isn't over yet. Yeah, I'm fixing to get off of here, too, because I need to find me something to eat right quick. And I need to get in the bed myself. Good night, sis. Love you, too. Yeah, but I enjoyed this, y'all. And um, we'll see y'all Thursday at V's house at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Then we'll see y'all Saturday with the Challengers. I don't know what time they come on. Then we'll see y'all Saturday again at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Arnie Fiber Sisters. So y'all will be seeing us. And me and Veronica's got to do our video tomorrow for our semifinalist. Good night, sissy, Liz. Good night. Muchas. But yes, thank y'all all so much for everything tonight. I really enjoyed it. Um, Y'all know y'all are what makes it. Y'all are the reason why I'm still on here at 1210. I know it's early for some of y'all, but late for some of us. <laughs> But yes, I will talk to y'all later. See y'all in the YouTube streets. Always be kind to one another. Radiate positivity. Remember to smile. And like Sandrine says best, always put God first. And like Sunita says, love yourself first before you can love anybody else. I think that's what she says. Good night, y'all. See y'all in the YouTube street.